Y'all ready back there? Yeah. This nigga too Ooh. with this bullshit. <laughs> All these niggas is bugging. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got on his ass too. He got to stop it, yo. <laughs> I mean, I can't say that because this bullshit might work. Yeah, I'm about to say, he ain't got to stop it. And the shit wasn't bad. They just don't like him. Oh, please. Shit, shit was not I ain't listen to that shit. It wasn't bad. It like, I didn't want to listen to that shit. It is a Man, what do you expect from him? <laughs> he, no, he, 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 he makes records. He makes poppy shit right, too, yo, nigga. Nah, nigga man, what we starting this shit with? That nigga's terrible. Hold on, huh? That nigga's terrible. He's terrible? <laughs> He's not terrible. He's not terrible. Damn. He got some dope shit. Go listen to his EP. Uh, I forgot what that shit was. Even Which one about his brother's brother keeper? Yeah, that shit was dope. I, I'm gonna take your word for it. Yeah. It ain't whole. <laughs> you ain't gotta that's be Jay Z to be. Nah, that's, not nah, nah, nah. that's not the bar. Nah, nah. That's not the bar. Nah, it's not. I like a lot of niggas. That's not Jay Z. Name them. I'm joking, I'm joking. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis Bleak. <laughs> that's what I meant. That's, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> you know, Chris and me. Yeah. A uh, mill. Freeway. Yeah. A mill. A mill. A Jazzo. Mill. <laughs> Sauce money. Sauce money. That nigga is, boy. Good to have you back, buddy. Mm-hmm. Now you about to come in with some music opinions. Man, I hung out with... Oh, I'll tell you on the pod. Man. We're recording. Oh. I got with my guy Ish over the weekend. Oh, uh, okay. This guy's a superstar, yo. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Shut up, for real? Well, I knew that. But y'all no, 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 no. He's a superstar. Y'all went to the strippy? Nah. Uh. We, all, we too old for the strippy. <laughs> I'm joking. But, um, <laughs> we know. Nah, we went to, uh, went to a little spot to watch the games at. Oh, uh, yeah, a little football date. And, no, 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 no. Stop that. <laughs> what? The this second wrong? this dude walked in, it was on and popping. Autographs, <laughs> selfies. <laughs> Photos. They swarmed them. Wait, tell me about it. Come on, am, am I lying ish? They was all you. Don't listen to this. Am I, guy. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah, I'm lying. Not speaking the microphone today, huh? Don't listen to this guy. Am I lying? You are exaggerating. How many dudes walked up to you? Walked up to us? No, walked up. I've been in there. I was in there for an hour before you got there. He's been there every yeah, Sunday for years. <laughs> they know him. Yeah, but when, got but when you got there though, what happened? Yeah, when you walked in, yo, stop your fuck. I wasn't there. Ish. Y'all I, I didn't know. invite me. I, I, I'm not I, even throwing that beef into this. Corey, God, I got a water. Don't listen to this. I'm not even there. throwing that in. That I wasn't invited on your little I pod. I will call Ray right now. Yeah. I like I'll football too, guys. Love football. They probably had wings too. I like wings. Oh my god, the food is amazing. Oh come on, you're making it worse. Yeah, let me get one of those. We have a group chat, guys. My bad. Parks, you live in Queens. So? I have oh, a car. What the hell is that? <laughs> I have a car. He said Queens like it was Japan. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga go to the Maldives every week. I'll come right over there and watch y'all teams lose with y'all. Keep thinking that little line is working. Yo, I got to go because like, I'm in Virginia. My family in the end. Nigga be out. Oh, Fucking man. San Tropez and shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Yo, what happened when you was in there? They... I was waiting for him to answer the question. Said, huh? Don't rob me of my joy. Yo, people came and said hi. But don't rob me of my joy. <laughs> Honestly, let's have joy? a transparent right, talk. We got joy? the whole gang back. Gang is here today. Listen. What's your joy? Part of the joy in this is watching you and y'all like navigate through newfound variables that exist. Like like you getting rested and the, and the beautiful little lady cop coming by and saying, hey, here, whatever she said. I wasn't there. <laughs> hey, you I bet he found a reason to go back to the precinct, though. <laughs> you don't think I left my... Yeah. Uh... That nigga been jaywalking ever since. <laughs> this nigga's so stupid. They've been drinking in public. He don't even drink. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> well, so now you go to the bar, right? And there's a heat on you that didn't used to exist. You used to be able to be low. So you know what I'm saying. So don't be coy. No, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. I'm saying Ice exaggerated the situation. I walked in. Ice and Ray had a table. And when I walked in, the people was like, oh, shit, ish, ish. Ray was their fantasy football guru. Ray was there. Mm-hmm. Number two. Winner of two of the last fantasy football championships in the last three years. Uh, and runner up in the third. Yeah. He's a yeah. beast. Yeah, no. He gets busy. All right, so. That's it. No, no, see, that's yo, not yo, it. I do have a pod to do. I'm not spending 30 <laughs> minutes that's, on this. But he don't want to tell it, like, yo. So you tell him. Make up I'm a story. To, I'm telling you. Lie. Do a joke. Do a joke. Yes. I ain't got to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. They give was, it, give they it to us. They were throwing panties at him. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was, Jersey. oh, shit, ish. <laughs> they were throwing wow. goals. Wow, And it was yo. a whole group. It must The group I had to be about 15, 20 dudes Ish. celebrating mm-hmm. their birthday or somebody's birthday in that group. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they just filed their way over the ish. That's why. Nah, it was like seven or eight that came over to him, though. And I was like, yo, you that dude. 
And he's like, yo, stop playing with me. Stop <laughs> playing with me. That dude. So me and Ray me. like, yo, you that nigga. You this that guy, dude. He's like, yo, stop playing with me. Yo, stop playing. Like, fam, they're, they're happy to see you. Yo, That's love. What, what, That's, yeah. What, what we got queued up in there, Aki? See, you don't hear nothing I'm saying, right? <laughs> I know hey. started with the Al Beto. <laughs> this is just the song, the music I imagine to be on when you walk in the bar now. <laughs> Uh, you know we give him a little slow motion walk. <laughs> we bringing it back to the days of Al. Be sure I hear you up heard. His knees while he walks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> up his knees a little bit. Come on, we taking it back to Ish times right no, now. You stupid. Forty and up, forty and up. Put a hand in the hand in the air, hand in the air right now. Kicking his feet full. a little bit. Yeah. Now we rocking the day. Yeah, you're a fool, yo. <laughs> Hey! So stupid. Uh, oh shit! Hey, let me check with the flat police, Corey. We flat today? <laughs> we flat today or what? <laughs> it's definitely fuck the few chicks' moms. <laughs> like you at that age, you fucked a few moms all out tees, there. All and that. rain or shine, this is what he do when he on that eighty. Hey! <laughs> all right, hold up, man. Found another spot out there selling fake aquapana. <laughs> It's a thing in Jersey. It's a thing in Jersey. I'm going to tell you what I think about that. Might not be fake aquapana. Yo, I feel like I be right so much that sometimes I shouldn't be questioned. I do feel like that's some narcissist shit to say. Hear hear me out. I be right a lot, yo. (laughs) If I'm telling you that I tasted this water and it didn't taste like aquapana, then it wasn't aquapana. Hold on. I just got some science for you. No, no, no. I drink Modelo, right? So if I go to a spot and I get draft... Pull from the keg. That tastes different than if they give me a can. Which tastes Same different from a bottle. Which tastes different from a bottle. So maybe the aquapana you get, because you said the tops is different. So it's bottled different, might taste a little different. Don't on make the, it fake. On the crime shows, when the cops think they got a theory, they got to get to like 13 different reasons as to why it's that. Y'all think I go buy something different? You think it was just that, that it didn't taste like that? There's no aquapana that should make the glass dusty. <laughs> like, it was foggy. This last spot I'm talking about, when you poured it, it was foggy. I'm looking at the glass. I tell somebody, yo, you think that's aquapana? He said, no, it doesn't look, appear to be. No shit. The dishwasher ain't clean the cup right or something. You got it, dog. We're not here to argue about that today. We're not here to argue about I that today. Play, it's cool. Yo. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm here today. And the day we start with football, god damn it. Let's go. Worst take. Worst take, here it is. <laughs> That's what happened in the spot. What? One, one of the young niggas that came down to talk to me, he was like, yo, man. Now that I'm ready to start, he wants to tell me about what happened. Nah, he spot. said, yo, I just want to let you know my man passed away. And he was like, yo, that song that you played, the song from Best Man, the brother song, mm-hmm. he's like, yo, I never heard it. I've been playing that shit every day. It's getting me by. Oh. I was like, you never heard it? He was like, yeah. I said, yo, how old are you? He said, 25. I was like, nigga really never heard it. He was like, yo, man, I never heard that song, man. Thank you so much. That song been getting me by. And I was like, And now I'm, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta play outstanding already. <laughs> no, nah. All I'm right. just saying. So for you to say that niggas really never heard this Christopher Williams shit, that be fucking me up sometimes. Damn. That we at a certain age where people don't know shit that's common to us. A DJ put a a, a little quick little snippet that of a playlist he was making of records that turned thirty this year. Ninety two. So think about that. That's thirty. So a nigga that's twenty five. I was in twelfth grade, nigga, in ninety two. You we know. This hell. We know. <laughs> we know, Antoine. <laughs> Corey was. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah, it's a lot of people that ain't heard. That's some shit. A lot of this shit. Nigga. Yeah, that's real. We old. And some of that shit, I don't want to hear. <laughs> nah, I take nah, that shit over this new shit. You bug it. Yes. It's a lot like, of that shit. Nigga, doggy style t- is, is. I'm not talking about that stuff. That <laughs> I'm just talking about the stuff. At my age, I don't hear, but we'll get to that later. Mm. We'll get to later. I'm here to throw a Frank. Oh, that's the other young slang. <laughs> look, you told the, look, the Frank's thing. You told look, us that one. Look, uh, what? that's the other. He told young us slang. that. Throw a Frank. Yeah, yeah he told so us throw, about. Look what they did to suck my. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Look what they did to yeah. suck my. I think it's kind of cool. Frank. I actually like that one. Hey Parks, if you don't get your white ass, <laughs> 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 I think that's pretty funny. Throw a Frank is pretty funny. Bro. 
parts, Your yo. Your sounds that's disgusting. Pretty funny. I don't even know. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, let me enter this part. Like, what episode is this? Hey, I got it. I got, what episode is this? 503. 503. 503. Uh, welcome to episode 503 of the Joe Button Podcast. <laughs> I'm your humble, grateful, gracious, and highly favorite host, here to remind y'all who the fuck I am, since some of y'all have me confused out there, but it's fine, I have a platform. Now, I'm here with some beautiful, really lovely, intelligent people who are ready to converse. Parks is here, Antoine is here, thanks, thanks Ish. Ice is here, Corey is here, and the young boys are still in the back, y'all good back there? Yeah. I love that for us, love that for us. Uh... That's what they did to suck my. D- <laughs> now it's throwing a Frank. Damn, that shit sounds. <laughs> Why would you ever take something sorry, as, sorry, beautiful, yeah, disgusting. Disgusting. as beautiful, disgusting, as beautiful as suck my? D- and I'm we're from New York. Uh huh. That it's, that's like it's up there near and dear to our heart. Yeah. The women say, "Hey, yo, that. fam, you can't even get <laughs> mad at a nigga and want to boo bop him when the nigga tell you throw a Frank." <laughs> <laughs> no, but the young kids tell me, Alex, and you correct me if I'm wrong. The younger kids are telling me that the the Frank is the warning. You know what I'm saying mm. the Frank is it's either that or when you're telling the story to avoid saying suck my. Suck my d- is too aggressive. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah they've softened yeah, it shit. by saying that's the problem right there. That's the problem. That's with the your problem. Generation. That's the problem right there. <laughs> but you you tell us to put the guns down. She could get active. You say suck. My d- yeah, yeah, that's what they're saying. That's what the young it's kids are saying. Preserving safety. <laughs> and so now, when you look at it that I'm way, I'm all for it, man. You're right. Because but why they can't just make up something? Why it can't be something new on its own? Why y'all gotta fuck up? Suck my. Fam, if somebody. So, so, but so the, me, the, but lives are being lost. I oh, guess. Wait, I wanna, yeah. So, so, Alex. Yeah. You said the guns that get brought out. Somebody say suck my. Right. Very aggressive. You know the connotation on that. Correct. Yeah. Now, if somebody say, "Yo, I'm gonna throw the frank at you" or something, or throw the frank. Uh, you can't even I, say it right. I don't know how to say it, but the guns don't get brought out. Shit for that. don't even sound no, right. No. Why? Would if you think about it, make you pause. Like, wait, what? It's like Not, a warning. It's a warning for the suck my yeah. yoke, I think. But it's saying the We're same shit. All right, never mind. This is, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's leave that alone. <laughs> I feel him now. I mean, it is ugly shit. It's ugly. <laughs> See, now you're, now you're yeah. on board. Well, I'm responsible for an audio adventure here. <laughs> and yeah, our bad. demo don't really need to hear that so many times. <laughs> and the start of something. They teach me that. It's the first page of broadcasting we, school. We going to Disney? <laughs> huh? We going to Disney? Well, no, but we should want to appeal. <laughs> I wouldn't mind now. <laughs> they got the bag over there. Hey, hey, let's fuck. do everything to shrink the audience. <laughs> you want to have that day? The fuck is no, no, talking no. about? Hell no. Yeah, I you know, know what he's talking about over there. What? A two-year-old. Listen, yeah, moving on. on. How are y'all is doing? Is that what Dak was doing? Throwing Franks? <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing something, man. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it. Yo, it's hard to be a Cowboy fan, dog. I'm not going to hold We're you. We're starting with football. I apologize to the women listening that are not entertained. By football talk. Some of y'all was real sad over the weekend. Sit on the couch looking at their phone for the whole whole day. Nah, nah yeah. women, women be into football. Sometimes. Plenty of women are into football. Yeah. Plenty of women are into football. I'm talking about the ones that are not necessarily. Uh, but man, it felt good to have playoff football back. Hell yeah. Um, so yo, man, let me just get this out, this little quick story out the way. Because boy, was I peeved. I'm going to try to not be so peeved this part. But I'm peeved at a couple things. Um... Saturday's game was what? What was Saturday's game? Bills uh, Saturday and was the Raiders Bills and, Raiders. and Bengals. Yeah. And the, ba- the Bills and Patriots. And two games no, that two games went exactly kind of how I thought they were going to go. So Sunday when I woke up, I figured I was going to put my balls on the table. Now I'm going to get FanDuel to my phone. I did okay. the same shit. I'm doing it. Now <laughs> I know. Too? Out there they're saying... Hey, Joe, it's been legal in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you do it before? Well, because I gamble. That should answer that. Mm-hmm. Me too. So you got to be very careful when you with it up. putting facts. Accessibility. And that easy to yeah. gamble? You got yeah. to be careful. Not only that, because I don't want to say I gamble as if, like I, some of these niggas out there gamble. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I have that gene. It can get bad mm-hmm. fast. And I've seen people close to me get, go through divorce, lose everything because of gambling. Yeah. I have. Mm-hmm. Same. So I respect it. I respect the gambling gods. Mm-hmm. Got to. But Saturday just went so the way I thought it would. The rest of the game seemed like they would go that way to me too. I, I fucking, I'm getting FanDuel. Mm. FanDuel didn't have any idea who it was. <laughs> <laughs> I went through every step. In, yeah, to verify me. You have to have to verify you. 
They didn't, they didn't know who I was. I gave them the last four of my social, then they asked me for my whole social. I'm there giving it up. <laughs> I'm doing a lot to really? gamble. Yeah. Yeah, they asked for all that. Then I no, got on, I got on with an agent, and nigga was like, fuck off, or whatever he said. <laughs> he didn't say fuck off, but he didn't give me what answered my issue. So I was like, fuck it. I won't do it. Mm-hmm. FanDuel doesn't know who I am. I'll catch him next week. Mm-hmm. And happy. then the game started. You were happy? I was very unhappy. I said, no, I'm saying... After the games were over, were you happy livid. that you wouldn't get... No, oh, really. pissed off because everything he called, he would have got... I was livid. I was livid. I, we've been talking about this 16 yeah. parlay. We've been talking about this parlay shit for weeks now. Mm. Right? So here we go, playoff time. Now's the time to do it. Well, if you believe in it. See, I don't mm-hmm. come on here just talking. I say what I really believe. I'll bet on it. Mm-hmm. I'll stand in it. And sure enough, Jimmy G tried it, but <laughs> he tried to give it away, but they won. Mm-hmm. The fucking, uh, what was the other game? The Which one, Sunday? Eagles. Yeah. Eagles and Bucks. Eagles and Bucks. And Steelers and Steelers. Chiefs. I told you that would happen. And then the Monday game. Rams and Cardinals. And I just didn't think they were ready for prime time. It's no disrespect. To, see, that's the thing. You can't say things on a pod without people out there just taking it as disrespect. We were having this talk on the way here. But fuck mm-hmm. them niggas. Again, people Probably on the internet Frank don't know what Hey, take is. a Frank. <laughs> Take a Frank, pick one. Sabret, <laughs> Ballpark, Nathan. Yeah, t- hey, Mad Frank's available for you. However oh, it goes, shit. I don't know the slang. Take a Frank. But we was having that talk on the way here. Kyler Murray, big time, big time, all year long, number one record. He's that dude. Been that dude in college. There's something to be said about the lights. Mm-hmm. There's something to be said about when the lights get bright. Have you ever been here before? And do you know all that comes with this? Tom Brady is part the man. Because you can't throw nothing at him that he that ain't seen. Like, mm-hmm. I predict this. I can tell you what you're about to do. They keep pulling up the stat. He's won 34 of these things. Mm-hmm. All the other quarterbacks combined have won like 19. Like playoff games. Mm-hmm. Like some stupid stat. So yeah. it, it, it's, it's that comfortability, that familiarity outside of talent. Mm-hmm. A lot of people got talent. Kyler Murray's talented. Roster's talented. Roster's talented. Coach is talented. So but Jeff- Odell been stuck in Cleveland for the last five years and was mad at the Giants before that. He's happy as ever with a pregnant. Well, he probably just had his kid with yeah, his wife, fiance. There's something to be said about men when they're happy at home mm-hmm. and how they're going to come in and do a job. Oh, now y'all put me in L.A.? That's Odell Beckham still. Mm-hmm. Something to be said about putting Von Miller on the opposite side <laughs> of Aaron Donald's. <laughs> That's just a little, that's a lot for the young man, is all I'm saying. Yeah. And the lights got bright. And he looked exactly like I thought he would look under those lights with that team. That's not a knock to him. I respect that man. If I see him in the club, I'd give him a hug. He's nice. He good. He's super talented. I didn't think he would fold up like that. So, yeah, I was I was fucked up that uh, you couldn't bet it. I'm going to try to get my fan duel situation. I wish. Or you could try DraftKings too. Or Caesars. Or know. that. Or Caesars. Listen, yeah. or that. But I mean, now. I want to do one of the cool, cool, fun ones. Yeah. I don't. That's not my bag. DraftKings is pretty good. But next week won't come without me betting because here's. Well, we'll save it for the predictions at the end. Okay. I got the Rams doing the same thing to Tom next week. Me too. Well, it depends. It depends. Yeah. If, if Tom. They're down Tristan Wirfs, who's their fucking. Second year superstar fucking left tackle. He's in a walking air boot. Fournette and uh, Rojo are still potentially out. I don't know what's going to happen with them. If they're all out, then it's Rams. If they can't run the ball, they're done. Yeah. But listen, we don't need to get to that. I have the privilege and the honor today of potting with a Cowboys fan. <laughs> I've, I've never really had that <laughs> before. So I'm just going to toss to you because unlike past years... I rooted for Dallas this year. I don't have a beef with y'all. But the same beef that I think Dallas fans should share all year, I've said, Mike McCarthy is ass. He's terrible. He is horrible. I want to be invested in y'all, but I know what's going to happen. And sure enough, that's what it looked like to me. The floor is yours, though. Um, yo, it's hard being a Cowboy fan. Even when we win it, the wins, most of the wins still be like the anxiety, edge of your seat shit. Like, we just play to the level of competition. If we playing somebody good, we're going to play good. But we're going to lose by three. Mm. Your takeaway from the game. <laughs> Same shit. 
it's the same shit. Yo, we play up to the level of competition. So do I think we're a better team than San Fran? You're all definitely day. a better roster than San Fran. We are all, all I, think, I think so. No question. And a better coaching staff. I know you just knocked the coaches, but <clears throat> they have two of the most sought after assistants. Defense coordinator and offense coordinator. In the you know league. what happens? Then what happened? Jason Garrett. Who, who are these people? Jason you Garrett about? had his pick talking of the litter, or whatever uh, team he wanted to go to. Dan Quinn and um, what's what's my man's name? The offensive coordinator. Kellen Moore. Moore. They have interviews lined up at every team that any, has a vacancy. Anyway, he, that that don't true. tell me nothing. That's true. That's true. That says nothing to me about the boys' club and how the seats rotate. I think a lot of things played a part in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yo. And Dan Quinn is like football royalty. Yeah, he is. So it's like. He doing a good job there though, but but what happened, nigga? I think <laughs> I'm about to tell you. I think in the first half, we did cowboy shit. Dak played like shit the whole first half, and then in the second half, we start to turn it up, mm-hmm. and we plan against the next team and the clock. We did the shit all season long. We plan against the clock and the team, and we start catching our stride, it, yeah. and, and it's too late, and so that's what happened. We yo, the San Fran looked like shit in the second half. They, they looked like pure T shit in the second half. Well, we start, offense still moved the chains a little bit, but they, we start they, turning they had some turnovers. The penalties too. start coming. Yeah. The penalties start moving the chains mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. Watch, what, them? watch what that man do to him next week. Yeah. <laughs> they can get their ass whipped next week. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, probably. Even it's though they played close. early in the season and it was a really good game, but I don't know. Because new Green Bay in Green Bay of recent years, they have the ability to get tough too now. <laughs> True. You can't, you just, can't just bully you them. can't just bully them yeah. off the field like that like the old Packer team. True, true. No, it's true. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers gonna get them. Aaron out. Rodgers gonna Aaron smoke Rodgers these niggas boots. And then go do Pat McAfee's show an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pat man. I, this morning I had oatmeal. Like he's he's he gonna talk he about some other easy. shit. I like Pat too. Yo, I'm you know yeah, I like Pat. I'm a, I'm a Dak guy. I just don't know if Dak has the swag enough. To command wins. That was a thing for me more so. The coaching it, is, he just, Dak wasn't clutch like yeah. he was supposed to be When clutch. does Pat McAfee take off? That's actually a really good question. What's that? When does Pat McAfee take off? I don't know if he's interested in it. What do you mean? Oh, no, take off. Take like, off. Oh, 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 <laughs> like, oh, like, not work. Uh, oh, I don't know. He, he put out about, <laughs> he don't miss. Huh? He dropped them shits like, like when BMF uh, had the, the truck, food truck idea. Like he throw them out like that. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, no, he goes. Uh, no, I, I just don't know if Dak has the. The Cowboys don't have no. Uh. All right, ish. No, nah, like, <laughs> yo, no. Nah. When you watch a Cowboy game, right? They don't even, have the killer instinct. They don't, yo. They don't have no swag, talent, no, cool, no killer instinct. Yeah, it's just not. It's boring watching us. You think they. So is, is it like they don't have an identity damn near or something? We don't have an identity. We're we not a running team. We're not a pass. Like, yo, we just. It's blah. And All right, well, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you for such an impressive <laughs> take. Let me toss to a Steelers so fan over here. Let me give some applause, Let me out. Yeah, Why? Yeah, yeah. Because we free. We free. Free from the shackles of oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I do, we are free. Give okay. us free, man. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for everything. Thank you for it all. Your time. Thank you. Yeah, you did. But your time has passed. Mm-hmm. You've been holding my team hostage for the last four or five years. Mm. True. And the entire league has changed. That type of quarterback that you are past your prom ain't gonna cut it. Mm. And we need to yeah, compete. Y'all coming in here with spice for y'all team. No, I but I, I'm not saying nothing that I haven't said. I've been saying this. I've been wanting Ben off this team for a minute. We had Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell in their primes, damn near, and couldn't get it done. Like, you have a super high-power offense on paper. And it's kind of, we played the same games all year and last year that Ish was saying about the Cowboys. They got it close I, to I getting did, it done, though. The idea, of steal, the idea of steal a football is keep it close and win at the end. Mm. Fam, if you watch this game against the Chiefs, they went five possessions and three and out of them. Well, let's be clear. They should not have been in this this game. But you're there. <laughs> in this playoffs. But so, yeah, you're they there. Were there. They were and there. you got uh, an experienced quarterback who... Hey, I've been here. Mm-hmm. I can rally the troops and get it done. Mm-hmm. Good defense. The defense yeah, did defense. they part? He's good no defense. Eli. But the defense did <laughs> yeah, their part, I though. I, I disagree with so him. No, no, Eli. Which part? What do you mean he's no Eli? Ben don't be looking that bad to me. Nah, he's been looking bad. His, ben he, looks terrible. His, his arm is out of gas. He can't throw deep. Yeah, that's he it. He can't throw that's deep it. ball. And that was kind of a big part of his game. He can't throw deep ball. He was having a big arm at one point. 
and the fact that he could he could evade some tackles. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's out. You couldn't tackle. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't tackle. Yeah. Now you now there's like a linebacker. Truck. Back I think there. it was like a truck. <laughs> yeah. True. So it's just that style. The, the the league has changed. Now you got your especially even in our just look at our division. All right, it sounds like these niggas just doing a lot of whining. <laughs> man, what you want like me to say? Yo, young, ben would, ha- young Ben would still work in this league. Young Ben is similar to uh, 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 Dak. Well, you said yeah. it. You thanked him. Yeah, I'm. I, listen, run. now let's go. Let's go get ready to compete in this league. That's all I've been wanting. I'm ready to compete. Bills, Chiefs. Who you got? Well, we are we doing product- predictions now? Oh, then we can do it. Bills, Chiefs, Chiefs. Yeah, Chiefs. Yeah, it's it's in KC. It's in KC. Chiefs. Is, I got the Chiefs. Tough. I'm going Bills though. Gold Chiefs. Bills. The man will not. The man will not be out in the second game of the playoffs this year. I'm still angry about the Tom Brady game last year. Yeah. I'll be there. I'm not letting Josh Allen stand in my way. St- sorry, Stephon Diggs. You want to go to the Dallas game support your brother? Bring your ass back here. Get your ass back over here. Get out of Dallas. Kansas City is a tough place to play though. The Chiefs. I'm going Chiefs. Uh, and I'm going Bengals. I mean, I don't know if that's so much of a bold take. I'm going Bengals by probably two touchdowns. I'm with that. Yeah, I might go Bengals too. I'm with they that. are filling themselves. In, in predictions, we lose the might. No, look look at that. Huh? Burrows. Mm-hmm. He got the uh. My, th- my question is, how, well, how does, how does Derek... He's, 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 my, my question he's is, how does Derek Henry look? I wouldn't care. I wouldn't Derek care Henry. how he looks. No, no, <laughs> no, I wouldn't give a fuck how he looks. Okay. Hopefully he looks and, amazing and, and had a great breakfast. What are they going to do if the Bengals get up two touchdowns? Their goose is cooked. I disagree. And the Bengals, they're going to get up by two touchdowns. Can't run the ballpark. I just said, yo, Joe Burrow is really him from yeah, the cigar yeah. at LSU. I, I ain't need to see this. I didn't need to see this. His he interviews. was him then. Yeah. He had one of the best college careers ever, right? Mm-hmm. And then he got got drafted, got hurt behind a weak O line, and then they brought in his man. That's what they. Who's up also at. <laughs> him? Yeah, Jamar Chase is him. They he both in separate rooms walk with that. You can see mm-hmm. it, and then mm-hmm. they go do it in year one, and arguably year one. It's still year one. It's still kind of year one. I'm not. It's 1.5. Yeah, yeah, it's one and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The Bengals are them, and you're going to have to deal with them for now. A, for a while. Yeah, yeah you're going to have to deal with them for a while. They, 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 you could lock them up. But anyway, I picked the Bengals by two touchdowns or more. Or more. I and that's not disrespect to the Titans. I know that they're the real deal, but I believe in the Bengals. I do. I, I, got I do. I believe in them too. Uh, I'm curious about how Derrick Henry. Really the the Packers are going to smoke the Niners. They're like, smoking them. It like should a be a tough game, pools. but they're going to smoke yeah. them. Like a they're not, cool. Yeah, they're gonna smoke them. <laughs> and uh, and I got the Rams over the Bucks. I'm Rams. Going, o- sorry, Tom. I'm going Bucks. I don't. I'm, not, I'm never don't, betting against Tom. I don't usually bet against Tom. Tom is Tom. But in my lifetime, the way to beat Tom and for him to not beat Tom, pass rush, pass rush is dumb boys. Yeah. And I think they did that with only this game in mind. Oh, and the Chiefs, if they have to see them. Mm-hmm. Those are the only two names that the Rams have been worried about, especially Sean McVay. He heard all that shit y'all been saying these last few years. Yeah, he heard it. Yeah. I'm not leaving my Rams bandwagon. I like Rams. And if packs, Tom do it again, team. then that's never a bad way to lose a bet. That's Tom. <laughs> but I'm going Rams. I'm, I'm on Tom. I think Tom know who who Matt, Matthew Stafford is. I think Aaron Rodgers knows who he is. Y'all know I'm big on him. You are. I'm Matt Stafford. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like he, him too. He I is. like him too. I don't think he's gonna be. The Rams yeah. have brought in everybody that I'm super big on. I don't think they're gonna be uh, Green Bay in that. At NFC chip though. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you last podcast about your picks. I don't well, respect your picks. Don't why I nailed all my picks except for the Raiders. Then you didn't nail all your picks, and they should have won because of that fucking whistle. So you didn't nail all your picks like I did. <laughs> you you had the uh, Patriots. You had Dallas too. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. You had Dallas. No, I did not. I had the Bills and I had the Niners. You weren't here. Go it's on tape. <laughs> he wants it. I had the Bills and the Niners. Remember, I said the Patriots will play a good game. Where's that game at? Y'all said Buffalo. I said, oh, bye bye. <clears throat> Not picking a rookie quarterback in Buffalo. Anyway, what's up, man? What we talking sure. about? How y'all yeah, feeling? Sure. What's I'm going on? What y'all want to start? Man, I'm feeling good. What y'all want to start with? We got Strange Crime. They got his ass. Thank God. What? They got his ass. Who? Who? The guy that just pushed a 40 year old lady off the train oh, track in yeah, front of a train yeah, yeah, to her yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, that's sad. Uh, Huh? That was sad. It was uh, Saturday, the same same day as Wild Card Weekend. Disgusting. It was apparently a homeless man. I don't know I what don't... kind of man it was. But I just want to alert people in New York City Word. about the mentally ill in the subway system. Yep. 
I think the days are gone where you can just stand in front of a track and wait yeah, for the I train. Like that yeah. Even That's disgusting. Yeah. Wait, so then, they, wait. So he pushes, pushes the lady to her death, escapes. Attempts to push somebody else, is unsuccessful, and escapes. <laughs> and then he turns himself in. I'm not shocked, though. And then he turns himself in and says, hey, I just committed a murder. That, that's the selfish shit we living in. And then they got him. And this is him coming out of the precinct. Yeah, you got him God. Yes, I did. Why? You got him God. I can do it. Why? You got him God. 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 It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Rest in peace to that young lady. No, the fact that he got away was crazy. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you say this because we all have loved ones that take the train. Mm-hmm. Sure, I take the train. And this is just not the way for life to be lost. That said, nine forty in the morning. Pat probably was packed. Probably you so. know it's packed. It's probably packed. You know it's packed. People going to work. I didn't mean to start that way, but listen, twenty twenty two is still on some shit, which is why I'm going to highlight this strange crime thing. I don't mean to see it, but I see it. I don't care about this. You're not beat me down here. <laughs> also, we want to say rest in peace to. Wavy Navy Pool, who was killed. This is from uh, NBC News, who was killed in an ambush ambush shooting as he drove with two young children. Oh, see, and I can't woman. imagine it. And a woman. I can't imagine it. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, and thank God those children and the woman were, were safe. Yo, dogs, HBO Max ain't playing with Netflix. What yeah, seen it. <laughs> what seen it. What I Putting missed. the foot on any niggas' necks. Soon as Netflix announced, yo, we raising the plans on everything again. Yep, fifteen dollars. <laughs> we For going a bunch up. Of bullshit. It's like the third time in a year, but we going up. Uh huh. HBO Max said, "All right, we, we dropping twenty percent on our monthly plans mm-hmm. with better content." Yeah, that's sexy. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the game. Netflix lucky they got Ozark coming this month because. That 15 is starting to look a little shady in the light. <laughs> I never turn on Netflix anymore. Yeah, we have, you know that's not my I bad. told y'all. Y'all what, tell me where to go. Y'all once COVID on hit, it threw a curveball at Netflix because Facts. Netflix was spending a lot of money on original stand-ups. Yeah. And once you and couldn't do... General. But mm. they were... You know, that whole comedy section of theirs. Yeah. When the comedians couldn't do no shows... And just original content, period. Yeah, it was hard for anybody. Because I noticed when, and that's when I got pissed off. I know a lot of the British shows are good, Uh but every show they was just getting from somewhere else and putting an overdub on it. And it's like, stop playing with me, dog. Like, what am I spending money on this for? They probably was getting to come up buying some squid games for Well, that used to be, that used to be like a dope side thing it'd be like yo they have a bunch of fire shows and then they got the foreign joints that are fire too and lately it's just been like not that caca not it's that. Beca- again a lot of shit had to shut down a lot of shit yeah we don't up. i want to just draw that we don't say it but it's not netflix and chill anymore i think that little slogan true. Yeah, that little Hulu sl- and chill for sure yeah well, it's no. hbo max and it's, shit. All the nah, and chill. it's still Stars it's and chill, chill. Netflix yeah, and con- chill, even though you're not watching Netflix. And that's the problem. They cornered that. That Market is the true. problem with true. that. No, nah, fuck that. It's just like like I, I was explaining to y'all when we were talking about the Oculus shit before. Uh-huh. Same way you'll say you'll go Google something. You might not type Google.com right, to, right. to search to it, find it, yeah, but, yeah. but the phrase Google it. Facts. It's, that's what, but you know what make me mad about that? They arrogant asses. They ain't even fucking come up with that. We did. That's true. True. We came up with Netflix and chill, and they was just on the internet around that time and seen it and started marketing the well, shit. Because they were the only ones at the time they? that was doing it. So. From a business standpoint, why wouldn't they? I just I'm think it's a copycat thing. Oh, well, I just pe- I think people saw. Well, those. we need a Rock Nation to go talk to. Somebody. Because it's the same. Because not for <laughs> nothing. That when I'm that watching the same shit happen right now. Anything you see VR related, everybody's calling metverse. I know. True. That's true. Yeah. It's facts. That's metaverse true. is yeah. just Facebook's. Name for there, VR. It's yeah, there. Yeah. But because they threw it out when first. You jump out yeah. first, nigga. Everything is metaverse. And I'm like, fam, that has nothing to do with the the metaverse. It's just meaning Facebook's it's VR. Facebook's right, version right, of right. Yeah. 
Right, but so let's they, stop addressing they jumped it out way. there. No, we, it's, it's yeah, but Netflix attached. and Chill don't have enough out there for them for them to continue to have that real estate but of it being called Netflix. I think at one point they did. And so yeah, they, they did. did. They Some, were the shit. So look, it was so somebody shit. saw their pl- their their approach uh-huh. and stole it. Yeah. Eight, ten, twelve other niggas stole it. But mm-hmm. you know why I'm mad at that? Because that was our guy argument to girls saying it wasn't a date. <laughs> <laughs> that was where that came from. <laughs> Yo, why I'm coming to your house? Fuck you mean? We're gonna watch Netflix and chill. <laughs> that is exactly where it came from. So how they they taking the fight that real niggas stood on. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, maybe I'm bugging. No, no, you're not bugging. You're not bugging. You're not bugging. You're taking the fight that a lot of real niggas died on a sword about, yo. (laughs) (laughs) Them ladies had our head. It was fucked up for a little while. Yeah. No, I here they come going to do this. We don't even get .01 something percent. I ain't, come on, mathematician. They don't give a shit. (laughs) But anyway. At least keep us at $10 a month. Damn. Yeah, and they they jacked the price. How about that? 15 is getting a little, you're getting a little saucy. Nah, now other actors, all these other platforms got mad other actors, new niggas because the Netflix niggas spot was the place where like the not no disrespect like the kind of washed up actors and the new actors was going well, that's just popping no, <laughs> no, was pop- no but they was popping like you was damn near reinventing yourself don't on, on Netflix my, my, yeah, don't, hey, don't talk about Jared Butler whatever you do that's my man he not washed up though they put them in all. That's my man. Yeah, but no, the, like the new up and comings was going to Netflix. The, yeah, the, and, the, and the older actors was going to Netflix. Production companies and getting in dope company. little shit and reviving their career. Now you got all these other little motherfuckers like, oh, you can get him twenty grand. You can get him twenty grand. You get and they creating dope content. Yeah. So they stole Netflix's model and 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 well, and the other popping. the other beast that they had to deal with is is the uh, HBOs combined with Fox and Disney and Hulu owned yeah. by Disney have all the fucking content in the world already in the bag. Yeah, so. they got back content. They yeah. got back yeah. like it, HBO is got all the Warner shit. Yeah. Nah, but the new then shit got was the, the shit that had shit. them rocking. The Plus new that. shit that was exclusive but was the both. shit that it's, had it's, them rocking. It's, yeah, now, but they when have you the upper have hand because you got both. Yeah, I can give got, you my whole catalog exactly. and give you some new fire. Every Disney Plus months. came out and was like, look, we take we pulled all our Marvel movies off of everywhere else. Mm. All the Star Wars shit, which is two big, huge brands, two plus big all brands. of our original shit. It's right here. You know Come what confuses up. me a little bit, but it. it doesn't. You know when Netflix just seemed like they would really throw a cog in the game? Podcast. Mm. That would have fucked a lot of things up for people. It would have. Like if they would have took too arrogant, yo, you'd be too arrogant. You'd be feeling yourself. Well, no, they pander to who they want to pander to. Like they have some podcast, something. They have a Netflix Black or they, I don't know. They got something like that. But imagine if they took their audience and their tools and did like, we don't need just it. Just put ten. We don't mm-hmm. need it. You're not gonna see Desus and Mero ever move from Showtime ever. Nope. Ever. Showtime get it. They get it. HBO got one too. HBO do the lot. They Yo, got HBO, yeah, HBO, HBO give me my money. So I ain't gonna hold you. HBO, y'all what? need to cut a check. <laughs> they, they they do it. They do it. I could go it. on there on a humbug and be yeah, like, oh, find some shit. Because <laughs> there's so much old fire too that even if you like can't find nothing for some reason, Fam. you can throw on a curb or a wire or a Oz or a Fuck Sopranos. That. You or don't or even or have to go HBO's content. They got all of the star. I mean, not stars. Um, uh, Fox and uh, Warner and all of the DC shit is up there. DC, yeah. All of the uh, Cartoon Network Adult Swim shit is up there. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. All of the um, Cinemax, all that's everything is there. Fuck, you don't even have to go look at the HBO that's shows. What fuck Netflix. They backlog up. is too heavy. That's what Crazy. fucked them up too. When they lost that little Office fight, the Office yeah. and what was that Seinfeld Friends? They lost they two have big ones. Now, though. That's the only thing that's keeping them. But they lost two big around. ones at the time, and it was like, yeah, yeah. and that was when I was having an argument. Friends, well, friends well, well who like. keeps the lights on? Is it the million little shows or the two big shows? I always bet the two big it's shows. It's the big shows. Because, it's always the two big shows. Because or the two big even artists. Even right now, while I'm talking all this shit about Netflix, I still put on Seinfeld at the end of the night when I got nothing else to watch mm-hmm. or whatever. Like that helps. That helps them. Otherwise, I'd probably definitely be out. It's exclusive. Yes. Gotcha. So let me advance this conversation, this TV conversation, because boy, do I have a finale to shit on. I didn't oh, want to start I'm, there. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Get that bullshit. That shit was some oh bullshit. Oh, my God, about? yo. That yellow yeah, jacket. I was hoping that's what we were talking about. Oh, my, yeah, hey, I hey. warned y'all. I warned you did. y'all. You called the yeah. warned y'all. Dog. That was some bullshit. I'm God so glad. Damn. Let me tell you something. Nobody got eight. Let me tell you something. 
Huh? The black guy. <laughs> Fan, I don't even want I don't know. <laughs> I, I was on my phone. I was on my DMs. Let me tell you, listen, and I want to apologize for the people that I got Spoiler invested alert and all you that. Did. up to episode five. I'll take this apology. Up to epi- no, the first five episodes when, <laughs> it was, when, when you're it was leaving it in your imagination, they could have still killed it, right? This is where it went totally wrong for me, and I was like, oh, they don't care about the audience. No disrespect to Vic Mensa. But when they did them shrooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shrooms was, don't make you want to eat people. Yo, where did, what shrooms were though? Were, <laughs> I've had shrooms. A lot of that times. That behavior was totally unacceptable. Facts. F- even for shrooms. And the next day they was on some, yo, I'm hungover. Like, shrooms don't give yo, you a hangover. Yo, what are y'all fucking loser talk? What are y'all talking about, right? That's yeah, people yeah. that never took shrooms. Because I sh- believe this shit. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, that's what they do? No. And I got a shout out to my girl, Mitzi. She held it down, she yo. Did. She, she did. the only oh, one that held it down the whole time. She the only G in this group of fucking losers. I'll tell you what turned it around for me, and I told y'all off mic, is when the fucking teddy bear caught on yep. fire in the plane. I was like, oh, it's about to be some fucking bullshit. Yeah, no, this is a mess. <laughs> Yellow jacket. It's about to be some bullshit. Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. He was right, though. <laughs> yeah. This was he was the- 100% right. Oh, oh, my God. Wait. Showtime, yellow, the, all of the yellow jackets and their coach. Y'all owe me an, apo- coach. Y'all owe me an <laughs> apology. Bumblebees. Y'all owe me an apology for yeah. that fucking CG, uh, CGI bear. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Yo, if I could give an award for the worst you know CGI kill, I've it, ever seen. It would be hard to kill a sick, dying bear with a, a fucking <laughs> knife, by the way. Yes, and the girl just stabbed the bear, and the bear just chilled. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bear didn't have any adverse reaction to you stabbing him in the neck. Yeah. Or even approaching yeah, to this stab. This show is a fucking crock of shit. It's a bullshit. Sorry. Sorry, Showtime. Yeah. You had me for I'm, five I'm episodes. actually, Showtime. At least for a month or two. <laughs> Off the strength of that. Yeah, because they'll sell you on some shit like that. Don't, don't do this again. Don't do this again. They didn't even show me the black mom being the one to climb the tree outside of her son's room for a whole season. We know it was you. Yo, get the show out of here, yo. <laughs> now, season two, <laughs> High Town. What a finale. Oh, don't spoil it. Oh, I'll close my ears. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I ain't finished like, yet. What are you oh, doing, oh, man? Oh, my God. I pissing me off. Yo, you got to get out. I know we in your house, one. but you got to get out. Me off, yo. <laughs> nah, it's All right, cool. well, let me just talk to Ice. Yo, 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 Ice. <laughs> what a... Fu- Boy, did, that might be one of the best finales I've ever seen. Mm. In how they did it. It's not series, right? That's just a season for that. No, it's just a okay. season yeah, yeah, yeah. for It's only season two. They definitely coming back. Oh, no. But they are coming back. Episode nine... They could have ended it there for me. Nah. But episode 10, ten they managed to close every single thing that you thought there was no way for them to close, and that's all I'll say. What an entertainment. And they and managed set to- up for everything. Oh, they made the next two seasons yeah. look like yeah. a piece of cake. Yep. Mm. Beautiful. Be- round of applause that's for Hightown, That's why I was waiting yo. for you to finish, because you, you said some shit, and I was just like. Round of applause all right, go ahead and for finish. Hightown. Ha- hats off. Yeah, y'all smoke that. One. Hats off to y'all. I love that show, so I can't wait to catch up. High Town is I'm this on shit. season one still. Me too. Me too. Season one is almost like a whole different show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh shit. All she do is she got. Oh, the you want season one too? Yeah. She got the best oh. hands in the business. Oh, so y'all don't even know? All yeah, right. yeah. She got to talk to y'all about that. Yo, she's amazing. Season one. <laughs> Yo, this, I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> By the end of season one, I was like. All right, I'm going to watch season two, but I'm a little sick of this. And they got right to it. <laughs> season two gets right to it. Whole different show. It's like The Wire season one and The Wire season two. Really? But in reverse. Mm. I like that, though. You want to see growth. No, you yeah, do. No, it's real no, no, no. Season two. All right, that is the end of our TV. Hurry up and catch up. It's yeah, over now. Football. Please. I promise. Okay. Everything. Okay. We've discussed nothing. We music. went backwards today. Yeah, we, yeah. Went, we went backwards. It's we fine. Start with I'm shit, cool man. with that. Yeah, me too. Is there anything really musically to discuss? I mean, yay yeah. and game. Yay yeah and game. <laughs> do we really got to do that? Yeah, you like it? Like what? <laughs> Which part? Well, what? listen. It has facets. Let me start with this. <sighs> I'm just going to start with this, and I'm tossing one of y'all. Okay. As somebody that has dissed women on a lot of songs... That's your bag, yeah. Scorn man bag. Your top top one of one. I can, yeah. <laughs> you are, you are. That's, uh, That's we had a, we had a little Joe Budden listening session the other night. Man, you're the man, by the way. But your scorn women bars or scorn man bars are fucking. <laughs> Untouchable, bro. I don't know. If you that's... are a petty fucking fuck. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. But you recorded most of that shit, so you knew that already. Yeah. 
But just listening back now, some of it is like, I was like wow, <laughs> Jesus, why'd you say that? <laughs> I was a little immature. <laughs> but listen, as someone that's probably top three at least nah, in this category. One one in all category. right, well, fine. <laughs> I got to give you your credit where you get your credit, man. I'm the pettiest nigga ever to live what? when it comes to women. Why? What did y'all hear? Your score over? man bars are Damn, ridiculous. Are you crazy? No, I wrote them, so I mean, I think I know. Uh, the old Wait, series to start alone at? puts you in that category. Yeah, under oh, the sun, was... third verse alone oh, puts him in that category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, moving on, moving on. <laughs> I can assure y'all that you cannot put that song out and expect to be invited to the baby shower or kids' <laughs> children's birthday party. Now, this topic is tough for me, so I ain't really going to get too into it because it's triggering, right? Sure. This stuff is triggering. But I am objective. <laughs> And that nigga look nuts at that baby shower. <laughs> he look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, come You want to feel a little pinata scene? <laughs> Is that what that was? I He should not have been invited to this thing, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's more of a yo, pee, you it's know, more of a pee party. Wait, you know I'm That's on a the, pee party. You know I'm on the dad side. <laughs> I'm on his side. But? But I understand. <laughs> I just understand. We saw your whole studio session from the night before. Right. And you happened to be on a song with a nigga that dissed your baby moms when he dissed mine. Yeah. <laughs> Publicly. Yeah. Well, why would you be at that studio session? <laughs> yeah. But okay. Yeah, sure. Bygones be bygones, baby. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Listen, meme game is made up too. It's fine. <laughs> But then, and wear the same outfit the next morning. <laughs> me in New Jersey shouldn't know your whole run of show all the way to the Should baby shower. He ain't sleep. No, he didn't so, sleep. Like, so look. Damn, I don't like talking about I know, it's shit. triggering. Yo, I know, I know. It's um, tough. It's tough. Think about this. And we can leave it, and we ain't got to get too in-depth with this. You kind of be on it like the man's rights side. I'm on that side. Yeah, of course. Right. But you understand. But not if you are threatening a woman or no, she feels threatened. No, not if you have a trigger. Not if you yeah. have a trigger. Not if you've been where nuts. you are not. We don't know what you are capable of or what yeah. you would do or what you would say. Uh -huh. yeah. The nigga's been on public forums going ape shit yeah. for years. This is not new. True. He's been on public forums before calling out your your sex, your mother, your this, your that. <laughs> right. Fam, you might show up here in one of the moods and embarrass everybody here. Mm-hmm. So, as a woman, you kind of like, uh, you don't even know which nigga you're going to get. But now, I'm, I am going to argue the flip side of that, which is, we've seen many times the denial of being able to see my child Indeed. is what's going to send me off the top. True. It's going to make me jump. It's going to make me hit. He don't it. need that to jump, though. That, well, I know. He don't I, need that to jump. I get that. The night before, nigga, you had the bunny hops. You was on the pogo stick the night before. I know. So now it seems like that could potentially be the icing on the cake, right? So you as a mom with kids, family, friends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, mm. what do you do? I'm not trying to let you come here and fuck up my kids' birthday exactly. party. Yeah, I got some beautiful and shit And on set top up. of that, dog. Have your own party. Right. That's, that's what I was getting ready to say. Yeah. You take them on your time and have your own party. Because now what got to happen is... Bro, you simple. Because now what got to happen You can't is, come here. It's a scary situation. You have weaponized your audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you can come here because I'm trying to be as least messy as possible. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I have to remove myself. I didn't see any footage of them two together. And it's none of my business. But she got to go somewhere if she don't want to be around that here. Real messy. None of my business what's going on. But I mean, they both do their best to make it my business or their publicist or somebody involved. Sources close to Kim Kardashian and Kanye West address Kanye's claims of not being invited to Chicago's birthday party. Say Ye suggested having two separate celebrations. I don't like that the publicists keep me so up to date yeah, with, it's weird. with both, both mm -hmm. sides. It's, it's none weird. of my business. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. I pray for everybody and hope all is resolved. I keep saying some That's shit it. just keep... It ain't our business. Stop putting y'all shit out there, dog. We don't need to that's know how this. That's they make their living, both of them. So, like, this shit is unfortunate. Annoying, I agree bro. with you. And they don't have to do it in, dog. Not just that, yo. It's fucking yo. kids. See, involved. but when your kids start getting involved, involved that shit, and you publicly man, doing all that I shit, it is goofy. I completely agree. I'm it just saying that this goofy. is like ingrained in these people's fucking. Yeah, I get. I understand that, but 
There what? are innocent little children. That's all I'm thinking about. You're a no, fucking I don't fool. care about y'all can do what y'all want to do. It's kids involved. Yeah. Stop putting the kids in y'all bullshit, bro. You're a goof. Also, I would like to shut the fuck up generation to start happening at some point. Yo, you're a goof. Yeah. Both of them. I'm are ready goofs. for the shut the fuck up generation. I'm gonna waste time out. I'm not gonna do that. Let's let's slow down. What was apparent from looking at Kanye as someone that has gone through similar instances? Mm. It was apparent to me that he didn't have very much experience in this arena. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was also apparent to me that he didn't have much experience being powerless. Yeah. Mm. And those yep. two things have nothing to do with her True. or the baby. True. Mm. So I'm not going to call him a goof for not knowing how to respond when some of this stuff is happening because it's tough. I'm going to try to have compassion I'm here. I disagree with that. But before you do, I'd like to point out, and maybe this is for a separate conversation, the DC sniper said this was the only reason I'm out here wilding is because I can't see my kid. And the court denied me my kid. Mm-hmm. In real time, we saw Kevin McCall kind of behave a certain way. That's all I'll say about it from the denial of his kid. She's mm-hmm. kind of wiped him from the history of the kid. <laughs> mm-hmm. New man, new last name, change the papers. This is dad. He's not safe, not fit. And that's none of my business too. Mm-hmm. More shit that's none of my business. But we do know, listen, I've been in the mall on Father's Day wanting to buy some shit and didn't know my kid's shoe size. Absolutely. Like it's happened to me. And and didn't have the number to call and she wouldn't pick up if I did call. Oh, like you just standing there in the mall trying to guess. And boy, is it sad. It is. It is sad. I'll tell it to you. It is. It's tough. I can imagine. Fan. So now you you say what? <sighs> Yo, you can't claim victim and volunteer. Right? So when you are doing a bunch of bullshit, but you powerful, your ego start talking. He's an egomaniac. We've all seen it. No question. Right, so now you want to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Now you got to reap some of the, the the consequences that come along with your actions. And you think because you have so much money and because you have so much power, you don't have any recourse in your actions. And she showed him something different, nigga. You're not gonna get on a public forum if you was really about your kids. You're not gonna be on a public forum embarrassing me the night before. And then now you want to come to the fucking function and act like you family guy. You can't do both. You're right. Sit the fuck down and act like a family guy if that's what you want to be. And stop embarrassing me, your your kid's mom, in public. Stop talking about your... You, you get what I'm saying? Like, shut up. Can I counter? You can. Well, and I agree with you, so not counter. But I'll, I'll add to that. Boy, is it tough to get there when just a few weeks ago she was there in support of the Donda release. I'm in support of you. And that is even more reason why you shouldn't be mm-hmm. fucking trying to embarrass right. me in public. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll add even more. What I get, as having gone through a few of these, is I do get Kim feeling like, my nigga, I'm trying, because I'm who I am, I'm trying not to get the cops involved. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Fam, I'm really I'm, trying I'm to I'm not trying put to the paperwork amicably on you, dog. separate from you. I'm trying yeah. to amicably separate. Because if I do that, who cares about your house across the street? Yeah. Like, don't think that she just out here willy nilly. She's trying to have some, bruh. She's and trying to have some. She's trying to be an adult. She's trying to be an adult about this shit. That's what it looked like. She's trying to be an adult. Like. She's trying to be an adult. Out, outside of the Pete Davidson outside pictures. Outside of the publicist stuff. No, outside of the Pete yeah. Davidson pictures. When you know, you don't have to engage in You don't got to do him. that. You could be True. having a fucking relationship with this man yeah. without the people showing it on Time Magazine, People Magazine. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Or, or it could be knowing that all of that, I'm trying to get my girl back and all that. You get the people on your side. Because, again, they care about... Listen, listen. They care about that shit, though, Ish. Yes, they do. Not now. No, they care about that. The, the Kardashians. Both of them. Not now. You don't think they care about that now? I do not. I think she has four kids, and she wants to be happy. Well, she got enough money. She's done everything under the sun. I think they want to go on and d- open dope-ass what, businesses. What I'm saying, though, is... I think, they, I think she's over I got to show that I'm over that. My way of showing that to keep... The, so y'all leave me alone as well is... I'm with somebody else. Cause if I if, if she don't pop out with nobody, ain't no telling what he yeah, we working on it. We doing this, we doing that. Oh, I'm trying I, to get I, I would ice on this a little bit, unfortunately. I hate that y'all are about to make me fucking 
understand she, she, Pete she, Davidson she, a little bit. She yeah. has to kind of. But in that instance, the role of that new dude yeah. isn't to be understated when like she going through a lot with, with old boy or old work. Mm -hmm. uh, like the person who is there to console they ain't doing shit but going to pizza spots and Word, I'm just minding my right business. Right. Like I'm they, doing what they, I'm doing. If I dated a new girl, I'm just out here minding my business dating a girl. Yeah, yeah. Y'all throwing me in the middle of this fucking but, whirlwind that I don't really... But you ever have to... In, but he's also much... taking the whirlwind. Like, fuck it. This is what it is. Nah, I'm, I'm taking the girl. No, I, I, I didn't necessarily know all this was going to no come doubt, along with No doubt, but to put yourself in a position... To have to deal with all that scrutiny and all the people saying that you know you're a piece of shit and you should get fucked, kind of should fuck yeah, that, you up. Yeah, that and might all have that changed shit. my mind a little bit that, on Pete a, Davidson's that, role in this. That's that's not an easy cross to bear. It is I agree. Because maybe he, maybe I take that back. Because now maybe that don't look so clout chasey from Pete Davidson. And I said that. So did I. Look, so yeah, I take it back. He might have liked this girl forever. You got an opportunity in which to. We all like this girl forever. But my stance was level. if you if you a man, real. so you put your foot down a certain way. But that's Kim Kardashian. What you gonna do? Yeah. You, you just gotta console her, and cameras come with her wherever she is. Yeah. And that's, that's the game. And that was, got it. That's I what I was saying. I'm I take it back. Joe yeah. was wrong. Pete Davidson, I was wrong. Yeah. Josh Allen, I was wrong. No, you yeah. owe Josh yeah. Allen. Yeah, me and Parks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. our bad. bad. I apologize already, bro. Yeah, my bad. We was Josh. wrong. But not only were y'all wrong, I was trying to we like give it to you. We were disrespectfully wrong. Yeah, man. Y'all went crazy a little no, bit. No, we did. I just said he was like, No, you said, no, 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 stop. Because no, no, no. you do that a lot. You, you say one thing we, with we conviction. We was on some bullshit, And then you come Parks. back. Well, I, I was said, just only me. I said he was 10 or 11. That wasn't the Parks, He was Parks. playing like 10 or 11 at the time. Parks, I posed the question. I said, yo, let me ask y'all something. Is Josh Allen some mid? You said, I mean, y'all right, you know, is inherently mid. Y'all got right to smoking, and we smoked him. Y'all smoked him. Yeah, and I'm apologizing. And then I was shocked. I'm apologizing. Well, no, we yeah, were, we were very yeah, but disrespectful with the smoke. I need the apology to be just as loud as the disrespect. <laughs> 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 My bad, Josh Allen. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, there, yeah, we there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. He better win this weekend, though. Goddamn it. <laughs> Yo, he might come back. He won't. <laughs> he might come to mid this weekend. Nigga. He won't. Yeah, he come back with one. No, of he, he can have a fucked up. He can have a fucked up game. He still ain't mid. Interception games. He ain't mid. I don't care if he can have a fucked up game. This is a big deal. Gonna uh, gonna get in the number one spot. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Why? This is the second week they both dropped the album again. That's not shit. Go, beating the weekend out in any week. He got it last week. <laughs> nah, weekend got it last week. Weekend got it last week. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. So this is fake news. Yeah. They both dropped oh, the album. Oh, this is just the deluxe that got a better album. Oh, okay. they, the oh week, no, I, I thought this was the album. Remember I came in and we said too, The Weeknd's doing that bullshit again where he yeah, drops yeah, the yeah. album again the next week with, yeah. with a tweak and the same thing Gunna did when he put the Drake he did, uh, he record did one, on there. He did one new song. Yeah. This is bullshit. You're right. You're right, my bad. I still do like that song, though. No, nah, I love that song. should have been in the first one. All right, check this out, man. What's up? Fucking oh. internet rat bastards. What's up? <laughs> let's get our beef out the way. Come on, let's get to know each other. Because you niggas swear you hate me, but you hear every word I say. Let's go through it. Y'all are not going to make me feel bad for saying I don't listen to an album, and I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you little internet weirdos keep making normal things be weird. And then I spend a lot of time on the internet. So that shit might fuck with your psyche. Mm. Did they call you a bully? Well, then there's that part too. Because I was, I have, a, I have, a, I have something to add for that. They, if, they, I think they, I think that some of them see me as like some type of rap critic bully. Yeah, that's but, angry about his career and where he landed, and uses his platform. platform to just shit on people who they say are way more successful than I. Mm. I mean, I guess. I guess I can see how somebody can say I don't feel like that. I don't think the numbers. No, the I don't see that it fine. that way. Just from my observation, <laughs> but then you stuck because when you give your honest critique and it's a negative critique, mm -hmm. then you're a hater. You're a hater, a bully, an idiot. But, but then when you give a, a critique and it's a positive you're critique, mm -hmm. you're a dick rider. I've been saying that that's for true. years. But I make that's my the, that's the internet. Like but I'm stuck. yeah, but fuck them niggas. That's I make my position very clear. And if you missed it ever in my 20 year career. Let me give it to you now. I'm on the side of music. The end. I'm not trying to be friends with none of you niggas here. I don't call none of you niggas. Y'all call me. The fuck are we talking about here? And shout out to the people that call me. I love y'all. <laughs> we have a relationship. Right. But most of y'all know who know me, y'all know me. 
So, no, nah, I don't give a fuck about being in anybody's good graces. But on the flip side of that, and music, just, oh, it's music. If somebody hate me and they keep dropping fire, why do I care that they hate me? Mm-hmm. I'm a fan first. Mm-hmm. I got the fire. There's a lot of artists out there I've helped to rile into some fire mm-hmm. that was mm-hmm. off a little bit. So now, I come in here last week, and I tell you guys honestly. See, I don't even give respect for that. Ain't none of these other niggas honest Facts. at all. They all <laughs> just dancing around save, saving relationships. Mm-hmm. Or getting a check from motherfuckers. Or mm-hmm. getting a check. I'm one of the lone standing honest wolves. And everything I say, they take as such, they never take it in like a lighthearted manner. No. They never take it like. It's disrespect. They take it the worst way they could possibly take it's it. It's because it's you. And, and but you look, know, you got a track record of which coming is, off that Which way. is okay. Sure. That's why. But that's my problem with this. Because when you let the internet and the blogs like run rampant with things, it could be divisive for artists. And it could make it look like I'm trying to tear down another black brother, which I ain't. Mm. But I certainly reserve the right to not listen to something. And That's say true. it. Or not like it. No, 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 no. That, yeah, that too. Not today. But these little sensitive fucks, not liking used to be the beef. Now it's, oh, you didn't listen? No! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck didn't y'all hear the last time? I didn't hear that shit. <laughs> what y'all think? Because y'all fucking tweeted me angrily I was going to listen? No. I don't listen to most rap. I'm speaking to y'all from like me. First of all, rapper Joe didn't listen to many rappers because then you think of a line and then be like, oh, did somebody say that before? Mm-hmm. That's one. But two, I it's too much great R&B. Sabrina Claudio's dropping soon. Like it's just too much R&B out. I ain't rap dude. Why y'all still even listen to me about rap takes? I have no idea. <laughs> I got to force myself to listen to these fucking rappers. I do. Except for ESTG, but he don't count because the bad bitches play him. <laughs> if you didn't want to hear ESTG or gonna, Pop Smoke, you're going to hear it. Or fucking uh, Frito, all these niggas. Uh, what's the other nigga? The little the, the nigga, Nardo, <laughs> mm. NBA Young Boy, all these niggas I don't listen to. Kodak, but guess what? Got to hear it. Know why? What y'all thought I was being superficial and shallow? No, this comes with the studying of music. Who are you making it for? What region? Who's listening to it? Who's your target audience? I don't want to hear certain shit. And y'all ain't going to make me. Throw the fucking <laughs> sucker Frank. <laughs> Throw the yeah, sucker Frank. Oh, dead ass. Don't have no punch to it, yo. Huh? Throw a f- don't got no punch. Because Earl is my man. They want to come up with every reason why Joe is mad at Earl. Like, if you know Joe, do I give a fuck about any of this stuff? That Earl impersonated Joe on, I'm doing the fucking show. Do I care? No, we, Honestly. we laughed about that. He did, he did great, actually. Yeah, <laughs> he, he smoked did. it. Yeah. I saw one person in the comments um, one of the that one of the blogs posted about it, and he was like, yo, Joe don't listen to rap, so why is this news? Yeah, I right. don't understand. And I was like, somebody got it. But the and internet also, goes also, in frenzy. Also, not for nothing, if they're accusing you of bullying, right? So they're going to bully you? Why is it okay for Earl and them have, to have bullied you then when you were fucking fucked up on drugs and depressed and fucking they're crying on TV about you and they don't call that bullying. But now if you say you don't listen to his that's, album, that's bullying? Like, and that's what on, I mean man. about when Joe says or does something, yeah. it's always taken as malicious. Right. Versus whatever happened before that was laughable and... Ha ha ha. And I don't care about that. It was funny. It was funny. But I mean, I was fucked up at the time. <laughs> <laughs> them best, them best were a dark time. <laughs> but it was funny. Our little funny elevator ride is funny. Yeah. Can Earl rap? Of course. As long as niggas can rap, that's the end. What, what the, what's the big deal? Right. What is the big deal here? Joe didn't listen. No, I didn't. And. I ain't. Still ain't. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying that to be funny. <laughs> I'm not. Funny that wasn't my end. My end is y'all should be talking about it more instead of attacking me. Right. Right. Like, well, well now you're asking people to be real fans. Put your energy into where it should be. Because the only time I seen you niggas talking about it was in reference to me. Mm. 
It's weird. Yeah. You new generation niggas are weird. I don't understand. That's why I don't leave my house. I can't get you niggas. <laughs> and y'all clearly don't get me. Yeah. If y'all love him that much, he should be platinum. And I'm not going to say that. No, not even. It ain't you don't have to be platinum. I, but, but talk. I'm exaggerating, that, obviously. In the manner in which you're defending it, it's not more pro him, it's more anti you. Right. Fam, I ain't see one. All, every blog that's always, that I that's saw report about it yeah. reported his comments about it. They I didn't see nobody that. just said, yo, Earl drop new project such and such. I didn't see none of that. That's so it's like, saying. y'all it's don't care pro. until it's not somebody y'all don't like say something about it. Right. That's where it get weird for me. Like, are Super you fans weird. or are you fans of what he don't like? Yeah, no, they're they're fans of hating on whatever he says. That's cool. Come with the but, they hang, but I ain't gonna hold you. You aren't that though. They do hang on to my every word, yo. Except for the good thing. And go out and stream but, Earl shit. Yeah. How about that? Sick. Yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> it's mixed well. Shout out to Guru. He mixed it. It's a lot of Earl. I can't believe I just I just was home in disbelief that the new kids have made, oh, you didn't hear it, bad. Or you won't. No, hear you didn't. It. Yeah, yeah. Not, no, no, no. It's, yes, it's, I won't hear you it. You saying you won't listen to something is a slight now. Right. It should not be. And it should Like, be. we can't let these soft ass niggas change it all. Dog, I put my, uh, for 2021, I put my favorite, and I titled it that way for a reason. Mm-hmm. These are my favorite albums of 2021. Mm-hmm. Yo, why you ain't got this on there? This is missing. I'm like, because it's not my favorite. I don't, that's not what I listen to. Right. Y'all know me. Y'all know what type of shit I listen to. That's what's going to make my list. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. This ain't right. You gotta, you, you gotta hear this though. No, I don't. Right. It's not, okay. Not I don't fan. have. I don't. It's called mine. Huh? It's mine. It's mine. Yeah. yeah. If you like it, yeah, but yo, I dis- I disagree with your list because this should have been on there. My response is put it on yours. Mm-hmm. Then they get to trying to insult my character. It's also it's like ah, it's like ah, Jesus. <laughs> Why do y'all need people to co-sign what you like if you like it? That's what I don't. I just I. Exactly. I've never understood that. No, why We're supposed to all agree with everything? Like, you know how corny that would be if we all agreed on everything all the time? It'd be weird. Robotic. She would be like... That's the algorithm. Mm. They want us all to be the algorithm. Good point. But it's like, yo, if you like something... If if you're the only person that like it in your circle and whatever, on your timeline, so what? Like the shit, it's fine. If if a thousand people say they don't like it, that should not affect you. Mm-hmm. Indeed. But today, to these kids, is whoever they look up to or nah, respect your opinion. Groupie. Everybody groupies. Like we just rock with what everybody else rock with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, it's some shit I don't like. I was listening to uh, one of the songs you loved today, and I was like, I don't know why Joe loves shit. Which song? The Kanye Fabio shit. Mm. And I was just like, yeah, mm. that shit was just blah to me. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool little ditty. What? <laughs> okay, no, 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 I, I listen to it's blah. I listen to the lyrics. It was all right. <clears throat> the lyrics was all right to me. Y'all didn't like the uh, game in the A shit. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't listen to it. Oh okay. Like I, I saw it came out and I was like, okay, I'll get around to it. Not that's not saying it's trash or I just did not listen to it. It happens, especially no, when they release on weird time. Just, just yo, dog. I'm these... not gonna give my opinion. I'm gonna sound like the phoniest nigga to ever live. Nah, just with the youngsters, yo. They <laughs> just <laughs> like what no. everybody else likes. Like I'm really wrong. I can't... But that goes with everything, though. I know, like yo, it used to be regional. They're programmed to the fucking algorithm. No, it used to be regional shit. Like I've if you went this. to if you went to Blood DC, Hill. DC niggas used to dress different than Hell New York no suits. Yeah. If you went to um, Baltimore, they, they had their own style. You, you went, went to, to Philly. Any Philly? Yeah. Now. Everybody wears the same exact the shit. The internet did that. The internet did that. So now everybody got to like all the same shit. Nobody don't really have their own flavor no more. Like yeah. certain areas had a flavor. Like 
again, if you went to certain certain sides of town, used to have a flavor. True, true. Can now you, can every, we call it something more updated than flavor? Nah, I'm so, just, I don't like Jesus. No, nah, I'm just saying I'm not. Trying to, <laughs> Stupid. Just go ahead, Joe. Let him get his flavor. Nah, but off, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, yo, everybody had their own style. <laughs> nah, nah, that shit was fat as hell. <laughs> that shit was mad fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, it was a groove. Now everybody, a groove. Dumb, <laughs> go ahead. A groove everybody just just do that's old enough to. We like what everybody else says is, fl- is dope. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you could really not. Fuck with it. It could yeah. be okay to or look. It could and be okay to you. It don't gotta be trash. It could just be all right. But because everybody else saying, "Yo, this shit is fire. This shit is fire. This shit." Everybody gonna say it's fire. Yo, Ish, what is Maxin? Oh, and <laughs> like relaxing? when they said Maxin and relaxing. What's Maxin? Chilling. <laughs> like this verse effectively changes how Pete Davidson can walk around. Yeah, that's corny. It's corny to me. My thing. It's corny is, to me. It's corny. Why? See what I don't like about this? I'm gonna tell you what I don't like. You even saying that is goofy. corny. One, but Kanye's another one who got cult fans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why. that's the part that this I don't nigga like. could be in that's a grocery store and somebody assaults him. Like I said, yo, we I, I just saw for in, dating in a, in a girl in, a, in a Lee Chopper. Same shit just happened to him in the airport. Oh, true, mm-hmm. 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 because of an NBA young boy fan wants to run up on you now. Hey, them fans ran to my house. True. Yeah. See, look, I got to fight a nigga in the airport. In the airport, right dog. Yo, I'm beating you up, nigga. I'm going to earn this no fly. You catch me in, a, in Newark. <laughs> no, I'm going to earn this one. Oh, no. Nah, watch. Yeah, you're going to get hurt. I'm going to earn this no fly for real. Is that what kids are doing nowadays? Bruh. Yes. These niggas got influence. Again, Pete Davidson, somebody could really run up on this nigga and punch him in the face for doing that. And then, and then pull a camera out, of course. No, they're going to have a camera out before yeah, and, they still that, That's know, what Kanye I'm sure, regardless of. Anything we think about the lyrics or whatever, he has had to up his security costs without a fucking question. Okay, but let's take it deeper than that, and I hate to be that guy. Let's do it. If P. Davidson is the person providing solace right this second Mm -hmm. for my kid's mom, Mm -hmm. then this entire verse is nuts. Mm -hmm. Like, because I'm with Ice. Like, the bottom line got to be the mental state of her. Like, it's, you got to put you to the side right now. This is a great verse. It's a phenomenal verse about your personal shit. I champion that. Mm-hmm. But not when it's teetering, stalking, not when you buy the house. Like, it's the behavior in totality right. for me. No, you talked about it. If you bought the house because you want to be close to your kids. Mm-hmm. Admirable. Cool. It don't look like it. That's my point. It just don't look like it. The all so now you so can't now, be now, mad now at stop this using girl. Your kids as a shield. I tell women the same thing. Don't use your kid as a shield to get back at your partner all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. Or to get closer to they your partner. They weaponize the kid all the time. Spiteful Fam. revenge is corny. Yeah, this I is, don't like it. I'm out of my business, yo. Like Fam. this is near and dear to me, and thank God that a higher power pulled me out of this, like no, this in is, great standing Fam. with with both of mine. Lucky. This is you lucky. Yeah, man, are you lucky? No, nah, I, did, I did the work though. Bro. Let me let me start there though. No, nah, I did I did a lot of work. I did a lot of work. I ain't just gonna put it on luck. Luck. Yeah. I'm hanging my hat on that as a man. You lucky, as you nigga. age. You're lucky. You lucky that the work worked. No, you're lucky. No, I'm I'm lucky that that I had people that allowed the runway. So that's where the luck comes in because you powerless over that. You powerless over how how mom is feeling. Nigga, if it's up mm. for you, it could, it could just be mm-hmm. up for you for life. Mm. You could do it. Ain't, ain't, ain't enough you work. You could do, do the work. Don't mm. matter. And now, and now, and that's when you see the guy that's a better man to the new family. And boy, the two pictures look nuts. Mm. But one went and did the work, and now he's showcasing it in a manner that he would have loved to over there. It just gets tricky. Mm-hmm. But I understand what you're saying. Go ahead, man. It's Go ahead. Trying, it's it's trying to hear that nah. shit. Nah, it's just, you know. Right. Every yeah, exactly. Every situation ain't the same. So you can't put a, a generalism on individual situations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What I can say is at the end of the day, the kids are supposed to be the focal point of mm-hmm. all of this goofy shit. So your kids gonna be able to go back and read this. Yo, this nigga had a Twitter see, rant, I, my nigga, see, about but, his baby's mom. See, but stop, yo. D- now, having gonna, sex. Now we're gonna have an honest talk. Fuck I told y'all to leave this fucking conversation. But that's where doing the work is important. 
because we all know the right shit to say in these instances. And I should have been thinking about my kid. That should have been at the forefront of my brain when I was evading paying my child support, running around. And they had to book me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had to get me. Keep going. Yeah, I was smart enough and old enough to know that my kid should come first. Indeed. But that's not how I was behaving because of my own ego and or I'm rebelling against. Indeed. And so, I mean, we know that. But how often do we just fucking put all that shit to the side and just move for the kid first? Um, like, I want to be a little empathetic to niggas when they get to that crossroads and now there is some of your own shit involved. You got to learn to get out your own way. Indeed. Mm-hmm. They did that with me. I did that for fucking 11 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, whoa, I was around you for some of those years and I'm not even trying to bail you out. Some of those years, you was broke. Okay, yeah. Right? Some of those years, you really didn't have no bread like that. Oh, that's true. That's so, true. that plays a part in this. Right? Like... Dog, Ugh. fam. Be it, careful. It's fine. You, it's it's you not. A, a, it's a, not even a manner of care that you could even give in some of these situations. It's nothing you could say. It's nothing that you could do in some of these situations that were better than. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is why I'm feeling empathy for her, because when people have mental issues, and we, all, I, mean, I don't know Kanye West, but we can all agree that he ain't necessarily the most stable motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, all times okay. Right, so he's so, shown that. So he's shown that to the yep. public. So only imagine what she's seen behind closed and that's doors. That's what I was saying before. Only imagine what, what she's seen behind closed doors. She could have had her break. Fam, like, a so long time again, ago. she is potentially trying to protect whatever they got left. Mm. Like, dog, I'm trying to give you some grace, my nigga. Stop. Mm. See, and that's my before beef. I go far, far, far left with the shit. I could really start calling. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I can start the, telling shit that you nobody beef. don't know. And this is my beef with hip hop. Because in hip hop, we champion this. Mm. What? The, this. The this. Yeah. Yes. Niggas we, laughing at it. Well, you. it's a good verse. I mean, from a uh, technical, you know, artistic standpoint. But hip hop can't just always be the place where anything goes. Mm. It, and I mean, I know that is what it's been, but yeah, I was gonna say, should, you... yeah, but should something stay that way at a trillion dollar business? It is a fine line. Cause I mean, it's a, a slippery it's, it's, slope and a fine line, and all those other. Uh... Bro, on that, on that, what's the name verse? The the Fabio song. He talks about, yo, he's comparing his money to his baby mom's. Like, what if what? Mm. I got the heavier bag now, so we don't even compare. Yo, you sound crazy to me, saying that on a verse. Like every time this nigga talks now, he talks about his money and Ooh. how. Kanye and how this money is just so important to him. He talks about that shit all the time, nigga. The half of the Nori interview was, I'm a billionaire. I'm, I'm billions up. Now I could talk to these white people however I feel like it. I'm billions, I'm billions, I'm billions. Like, my fat ass is the billions. Well, you know, well, because you know that what he puts a, a lot of stock in. No. And he takes pride in that. Cool. And he, and he, it use, don't and he make uses you. that. He uses that. He leads, he leads with that. And because he's the he's same always, nigga though that'll cry victim when Tata was looking at him sideways. Well, I was about to say the one line that stuck out in the interview for me was, "No matter who I am, Tata see me as this because mm-hmm. Tata is this nigga from New York mm-hmm. and he's who he is, and mm-hmm. it don't matter and I see how you cool I get. Yeah, yeah. Tata is going to look. He said Tata and one other name that looked at do that for him, but that's who he is." So how do you now throw this money out like I'm better than other motherfuckers? See, and in hip hop, we allow people to create these alter egos that are much more powerful than who they are inside. Mm. <laughs> Bro, yo, man. but that—that's who he is, Again. and that's how he looked when he put the phone in his face and started talking about. He looked like looked like every other man. Mm-hmm. The first thing but I that said, money yo, ain't first, save you. Wait, the first thing I and that, yes, that money that, ain't saved you. That's the first thing I said that money when the, when the clip now, showed man. up of him at the baby shower. Mm-hmm. I said, "You know what's interesting about this? Boy, hip hop is funny. He looked like a real doof here, but if you take him away from this scene and put him anywhere else in the world, it's Kanye West. <laughs> right? It looked cool. It looked right." All black ma- mask costume. It, it looked like I am in character. Right. Hey, but black people know 
Your family don't care about don't what's about going on that, out there. Don't about none of that hey, shit. when you get home, we gonna see. Your we gonna know like, what boy, time it is. Give me that chair, boy. We gonna see who you are. Yeah. No, we know who you are. We we know the real no, you. We gonna see. Mm-hmm. Oh, you said not okay. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. Yeah. But we look at them pictures, mm-hmm. and it just don't look like. Con- it don't look like yay. Mm. It don't look like this cool. Mm-hmm. They're gonna tell me I'm hating right now, but I just no, have, right. I unfortunately have it's a lot right. of experience in this type of stuff. Yeah, man, I'm gonna leave this alone. I, I, I'm glad he was able to go. Shout out to Travis, Kylie, whoever was able to facilitate this, maybe, and I hope they get this together behind closed doors. Yeah, that's the key. Lead us behind closed doors. We don't need the. We just don't need this. We don't need to know this. We don't need to see every step of this. And I'm nothing, shit out, I don't man. think this shit is gonna work. I'm getting your family back. At the end of the day. Oh, that's another tricky conversation to have, yo. Because uh, you're right. That ain't how this you get... This, ain't, this, ain't, this is not it. That ain't how you, you get You know what? This back. is coming off. Oh, go ahead. Real go quick. Ahead. But this is the issue with that, man. I told you I want to leave this too triggered. <laughs> this is the issue with that. I'm going to say this. I promise I'm shutting up. The behavior is not how you get your family back. Uh, the, running around with the 22-year-old girl moving her in your house. Uh, now Julia Fox. Justin LaBoy everywhere, the fucking Houston girls, all of these nasty stories. The behavior is not how you get your family back. But it's self-medicating for not having your family. That's a coping mechanism for him. True. Now, you can do all of the shit that he's doing. I don't think that's the problem. Without the cameras. That's all I kept saying. And I, I You could do not, all not the shit nothing. he's doing because, again, he, but he, he lost needs his family. The, he need that. He well, feed off of that. Well, you're not a victim, nigga. You a fucking volunteer. He feeds off of that. You can't cry victim when you are a volunteer. You are controlling what is put out to the public, and you and come on, my nigga, yo, stop. Uh, yeah. This not comes like say, not for nothing. This, this comes off as a nigga that is saying I want my family back for the kids, but it's really just the control part. Like, yo, nah, I just you can't go nowhere. Mm. That's what it's coming off as. I don't think that. Oh, shit. Think, she really found, mustered up the strength to leave? Yeah. yeah. She I think, oh, shit. Time? I think Wait. he won his family back. No, no, no. I think he wants his family back. I do. I think. I you think, lost the choice. I think he wants. I know. And, and that's, back, and that's the part. Not that's the, reason, the, not the way he's putting it out. That's the tough pill for men to swallow. That's one. You have lost the choice. That's one. I think that. I think he really wants his family back. I think that that family was a safe space for him. Man, then go to court, nigga. And that's. Can't get it back. Huh? Court won't get your family back. Court will allow me at to see my children on a regular your basis. Your family is not just the children. But you keep telling me about I want to see my children. I know. I'm just. And I'm that's why I'm saying he's I'm using saying the kids the to see. Family say. is not the children. Well, you're not getting her back. And there you go. I mean, maybe you will. I don't know. But well, I mean, even if you was, all of this ain't gonna help your cause. Yeah, right. It's nasty. This is not gonna help your cause in getting her back. And I don't think the hanging out with women and all that shit. It's the other shit that fucks that up. Fan. The hanging out I, with women is cool. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 but go ahead. No, no, somebody just no hanging out with women it. is cool. That again, for some people, that's a coping mechanism. Mm. You don't got to be doing it in a way in which you're doing it. You just don't. We ain't got to see it, yo, dog. It ain't no bigger artists in the planet than Jay Z and Beyonce. Mm. You barely see them niggas in the social media. True. You barely see them. And again, that's by design. Jay Z tweeted this weekend. That's by design, my nigga. And it seemed like that tweet really ticked him off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I keep saying that, Volume one that is... album wasn't as bad as I don't care not what he me. said in the past. Yeah, not to me. That album was we disagreed when he said it then. Me too. Volume one is let me see. It's fire. It's probably like fourth or fifth for me. Were we on record when you guys were was it on record? We were doing volume three. Was yeah, that, was that Patreon? One. Yeah, it was volume three. Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. Patreon. Where one of y'all, what's the uh, real stupid shit one of y'all said on that Patreon episode? Which oh, one? I don't know. That, it was Ice, right? Black Album. It's better than what? Volume 3. That That is, no, that's not no, what he said. No, I definitely, Black Album is better than Volume 3. That wasn't eh. the thing that was stupid. No, what I said was, I'll tell you what I said. You said stupid shit. I didn't say anything stupid. <laughs> it wasn't that. Yeah. No, what I said was Volume 3 is, is a bottom three, bottom four Hove album. Okay. No, that wasn't, the, that's not what I'm talking about either. Somebody said that one album is better than like, Reasonable doubt, blueprint, like it was one of those. But we can move on. Yeah. What did Hove tweet? Uh, uh, Quest Love said our main argument is his hate for Volume One. He's talking about Hove's hate. 
He's embarrassed for trying to make a monster and not putting numbers up. But a lot of this LP contains his best moments. Fight me. Yeah, word. Yeah, it does. And he added him. Fight me, uh, SC. And Hope said, agreed. More so, I know what could have been. So it haunts me. Streets is watching was the first song made. I know. And, and you understand what that's like mm-hmm. as an artist. Mm-hmm. Yep. You she understand did. what that's like as an artist. That's why I'll always be robbed of my growth moment. Like from to put out my correct sophomore album with mm-hmm. a budget and label support. Mm-hmm. But a lot of Moon Music 2 shit was on there. I, mm-hmm. It was a blast. Mm-hmm. But you're robbed of that. I understand what he's saying. So he views it differently than the public. But for us... I love Volume 1. Me Same. too. Very high. The only song I don't I, like I, is I Know What Girls Like. Yeah, that's like. the only that's one. That's the only song only I don't song. like on there. I know what girls like. I'm good on that. But in '97, no, I kind of rock with that too. Yo, Lil Kim was Lil Kim. She was. You know what I mean? I agree. Uh, the but I'm talking about even today. Now. But wait, yeah. time out. Uh, Every song on that album goes today. Yeah. Hey, Sunshine is on here somewhere. Yeah, yeah Sunshine is. is on. I here. like Sunshine, and I love Sunshine. The video made people hate Sunshine. Sunshine that's where it caught all the terrible. Nah. But that's where it caught all the flack. They tried, they tried, Sunshine they tried was do, hard. They tried, they tried to do Bad Boy. They tried to do. They were trying to do Bad Boy successfully. Yeah. You tried to do. Same with I know what girls like. A lot of this album was influenced. I think. Puff, I think we've had a conversation about this a long time ago, but I think Puff we've had, had a hand every in. Jay-Z conversation that's, a million that's times here. True. And here we are again. Hey, man. The Hope Avengers. <laughs> a symbol. I love this album. I'm I'm saying me too. All right. How, how much hove? How much how much hove appreciation do we need? All of here? us. Let me let me move us on. Let me put on my my cape for another outstanding artist. Right? But I'm such a dick, man. I gotta get better. But this goes into me saying. <laughs> I be apprehensive when people send me music early. I do. I know it's a privilege. I'm the same way a little bit. I recognize the privilege in it. I speak from a position of privilege. I get that part. But when you hear it early, you might miss the drop. And you miss hearing it just with released ears. There's Mm -hmm. a such thing as released ears. I know I sound like a lunatic, but it's true. No, it's true. I want to hear it with the rest of the people. I say that too. I'm the opposite. Really? Yeah, y'all niggas. I like, I Look, love the, um, these musicians. the early drop. Yeah. I mean, like, when, so, like, I get music sent, and I love it that way because I can enjoy it on my own without seeing, I don't need to see nobody's hype around me. Like, I don't need to see people gassing up something that I might not like, or vice versa. Well, you know how many times they've sent me songs early and then took out my favorite part of the song that when part. it was released? That or part. you get demoitis on something yeah. where you yeah. hear it one way and then the finished the product finish. is something totally fi- different. I want the finished final version. I always go back to my version of Damaged with the uh, sample a little louder. But anyway, um, oh no, with the sample cleared. <laughs> um, but here I am again, man. So my guy, Adekunle Gold. Yep. You know him because I, well, you know him because he's him. But I've played this song on the podcast before. Oh, my God, yo. This dude is really him. Now I gotta let this rock for a little bit out there. Hold up, we vibe. Gotta give him a little bit. All right, turn this off, man, because I'm gonna start shaking my ass in a minute. <laughs> hey, we don't I'm start Please fucking don't twerking on this fucking couch, nigga. <laughs> what? This nigga still trying to take me shopping. What's up? <laughs> they still in there. <laughs> Niggas in there. Yo, call. some nigga jumped in my DMs. Yo, I said, man, if you don't get your weird ass to fuck out my what? DMs, and Ish, you can't say you that. Can't today. call him weird. You can't call somebody man. weird. You're just shooting today. this shot. You can't do that, Ish. You got you light skin with. Green eyes. He might, hey, yo, you know. I told that nigga get the fuck out my DMs. <laughs> you can't do that. Yes, I can. Really it's my DM. No, nah, look how homeboy approached me. Nigga said, "Yo, we gonna keep it on the low." <laughs> <laughs> yo, show it. <laughs> no, nah, let me read it. Cause I be posting little pictures here and there on on the yo, Insta story. The fuck, right? He wanted some of your steak. Man, <laughs> he wanted to catch the Frank. <laughs> Now, he just repeatedly, he just keeps responding to my Insta story. I ain't going to say his name. That's the homie. That's the who? That's the homie. That's the homie, he said. Ish, I don't mind the gay gay and bisexual niggas getting their shit off. Go ahead and get your shit off, nigga. I'm sexy. (laughs) I understand it. I've seen some girls short circuit. But when they do it and it goes bad... Boy, there's some loopholes. They can really jam you up publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if they, if they they land on the wrong side of that emotional roller coaster, you was trying to be reserved, <laughs> protect shit. But they still got mad, and boy, did they drag you through the mud. But anyway, these niggas, I don't know them to do that. Homeboy said, "Yo, stop playing with me, sexy." <laughs> and then he doubled back with, "Hi, daddy." 
I be daddy a lot. <laughs> no, the and then he one. had enough. The next one. He said, let me suck the white hairs out of your dick. Is what he said. I don't want to see that. <laughs> no, it's just words. It's, it's just words. Cool. Words can't hurt you. Oh, no, I'm good. Words can't hurt you. <laughs> Yo. Why do you think my dick got white hairs? <laughs> yo, look at this. All right, come on. Let's move on, yo. Let's move on. Oh, so anyway, you can get offended at this stuff unless you make your position known. Like, you can't assume everyone knows your sexual preference. So you have to be able to share it. And then if they continue, then it's like, all right, dog, what we doing here? Like, another one of them niggas hit me. It was like, yo, let me be a dirty little secret. And I was like, that's the I was nigga. Like, <laughs> Yo, that's the nigga. Wait, wait hold on. He got both. Wait, wait, wait. He had both. You stealing my nigga? <laughs> hey, Parks. He might have a type. They do kind of look alike. We don't look alike. Yo, we don't look alike. Y'all do kind of look alike. That's the nigga, right? Be related or something? Yeah. We don't look alike. All black people don't look alike. Bro. <laughs> I t- Yo, I told that nigga get the fuck out my DMs, fam. You can't be my secret nothing. Oh, I put him on ice in case I change my mind. <laughs> See, ice, we not, we not, we not built. This, we, we not, not built. You right, nigga. We not. Them niggas that say, "Let me take you shopping," I ain't just shut them down. <laughs> I did what the baddies do. Leave it there for a rainy day, sure. in case I see a Bottega bag I don't want to pay for. Yeah, there you go, fam. You street booty? <laughs> no, I'm not fucking these niggas. I'm saying, but I'm you for sale? That. I mean, I enjoy. <laughs> I enjoy a nice meal. <laughs> If you don't expect anything in return. <laughs> yo, this guy's a fucking cool guy. Anyway, so listen. Back to new music, right? Mm-hmm. This nigga, he ended up, I don't want to fuck him up. Anyway. <laughs> back to new music. So, Adekunle Gold hits me. He says, yo, huge fan of your shit. Now, mind you, he's that dude to me. Mm-hmm. He's like the man to me. And what I mean is, even if you don't relate to that, they're going to judge me again. I said this in my Earl take. I'm pretty consistent. If you happen to be around something soft and throw on that had <laughs> of gold, experience it for yourself. <laughs> right? They respond. It gets softer. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. A little he's, tenderizer. He's really him, yo. So he hits me. He's like, yo... Huge fan of your shit, bro. Like he said it. He just spoke so humbly and just mm-hmm. like like he wasn't him. He's like, yo, I'm putting something out, man. Love for you to hear it. I'm like, yo, please. I'd be honored. He sends it over. I got a hectic day. I don't get right to it. Mm-hmm. He hits me back a few days later. Yo, big dog. Did you get a chance to hear this project? I felt guilty because I hadn't heard it yet. Sure. So I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just let it sit there. I hate when artists do that shit. So I especially hate when podcasters do it. <laughs> it can be tricky. And then like life started happening and shit. Then I got a new phone. Scammers fucking Sprint kept texting me like wild <laughs> shit going. I got a new phone and I didn't get around to it. And then he hit me again. Today. I said, yo, did you get a chance to check out that project? I'm dropping. I'm dropping soon. Mm. And I said, No. But I got a new phone. <laughs> uh, that excuse. Hey! That's a good excuse. It's a good excuse. I'm like, oh, shit was fucked I up. I got a new phone. Yeah. It was hectic back then, but I'd love to hear it. Please resent. You're a baddie, yo. You know all the baddie lines. You hit him with the new phone. <laughs> <laughs> all the baddie lines. I got a new phone. Oh, man. And he sent it over again. And this time, I didn't hesitate. I didn't procrastinate. I just hit play from track one. I'm just going to let you know what I heard. I'm... My, it's the morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. Uh-oh. Wait. Now I feel like a powerful king. <laughs> now you have my attention. Me too. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Wait. Hey! Yo, this kid don't play. He don't play. This is nice. He don't play. He's him. I know what this do already. That's your <laughs> dog. dog. That's me, Tenderaza. Yo, fam, <laughs> fam. Let me That's get Lowry's. this. Let me get this in the sound cabin. <laughs> yeah. She got a little short dress. If I could get my thigh move going with this on. <laughs> Wait yeah, a minute. Your thumb start oh, rotating. Oh my god, yo, fam. Don't play around. Yo, stu- yo, you stupid, yo. So I hit him back immediately, yo, fam. I let it. I, play, I let it play. I said, yo, this shit is fire, like, all the way through. Do you mind if I discuss this? 
It's like, please feel free. So this drops February 4th. Okay. A couple and weeks away. This is his single that I guess is coming this week. It's called Mercy. None of this is out, and he didn't pay me. This is just from one music lover to another if this is your bag. Uh oh. Oh, man. I might need to get to Miami. Not South Beach, Miami. It's this Miami. The other Miami. Oh. Uh oh. Man, shout out to my ladies out there that know what go on, man. Y'all want me to play Earth? Man, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. That's just where I'm at as a 41 year old. <laughs> hey. All right, nah, he bugging. Listen, the whole listen sounded like this. I can't wait. Sounds tough. February 4th. Now he don't play. Now that's him. Dog. Yeah, nah, I know. I know who to. Let me shut up, man. <laughs> That's fine. Let me shut up, man. Nah, he went crazy. Yeah. He went crazy. Very excited about that. Very excited. It's some other music that has been sent to my phone that I can't share, but niggas is gearing up, dog. No doubt. Niggas is gearing up. The and it's part that. Up, though. Hmm? What? Because they might shut everything back down. So niggas had their shit in a tuck. Nah, you know what I mean? I think it's. I don't no, think, this I don't is, think we, we're getting a shut down. They're not like, shutting shit down no more. We And, and this year, we're not getting. Uh, projects that have been halted and these are people actively working right yeah. now yeah. to release in spring summer like I- I'm anxious yeah. I think this spring summer is- and then they're not locking them down again no I don't think so they're not Nigga, they, lo- they spent too much money doing that yeah, that's they all they care about mm-hmm. they're not locking us down again Y'all you can, can see get it they're, they're basically on some you know, yeah. Yeah. how do you feel you can go to work yeah go to work, go yeah. work. Yeah. There's, there's, I don't care if you don't go to work for two Nigga, yeah. I don't care if you don't go to work. We not locking you down. If you ain't you get no that out your head. You won't yeah. get no stimmy no from PPP, us no more. No PPP, no stimmy, no. Yeah, you're right. They're sending the, uh, the test kits to you. Hey, test yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Four for free. Hey. Yeah. But wait, but wait. Let us know. After they just went and told you, yo, the rap, it ain't that accurate. But yeah, take, yeah, take, take some four, anyway. Yeah, take four it. of these anyway. This makes you feel better. Go ahead. Yeah. How many you want? USPS is sending four test kits to your crib. For free. That is crazy. But man. but when the pandemic first hit, they said we couldn't do that. Right. We can't. They was like, why don't you just give everybody tests? Uh, we can't well, do that. While we're on the topic, I want to send love to Stephen A. Uh, I posed a question a few weeks ago. Why is he missing? We haven't heard anything. And he came out and said that he had COVID, a real bad case. Yeah, real bad. Uh, mm. And that he had all the symptoms. He almost died. He said this as a vaccine. He felt like, not almost died. Right. He felt like he could possibly die. And I want to say that Stephen A is fully vaccinated. He is. So yeah, that he was is. his that was his I think experience. He's been pretty adamant about that. A yeah. fever of 103 degrees every night. Woke up with chills and a pool of sweat. See, I remember that was my version of COVID too. It was fucked up. <laughs> like it was bad. For yeah. more than one day? Yeah. Mm. It, oh, it's, yeah. Hit, it's hitting everyone different too. It does. I know yeah. some people that are like, yeah, I just had a little scratchy throat. Still ain't caught it yet. Me either. Not to my knowledge. Knock on. Yeah. Knock on. It was something to knock on. <laughs> I was holding it down until I couldn't taste the food or smell some shit. Mm. I got the nerve to have all of my colognes right on my dresser, too. You just, you just stare at it. <laughs> just, damn, I should look like it smell right. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah, you can't light a candle yeah. or nothing. Oh, no. You all fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you was fucked up. None of that. Well, I mean, I barely had a tunnel to breathe through, so I mean, smelling shouldn't have been my mm. first concern, that but it was. True. And that's how I was going around trying to test when I got better, sniffing everything like Brooklyn or Harlem coffee my dogs. Bullshit. <laughs> Strong shit too. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah. smell the coffee. That's yeah, yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. Can't smell it. But that sucks. Pray, prayers to Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, glad he you got could back. see it in his face. I'm keeping it real, you could see it in his face. I can. Every time I look at him, he looked like twelve million a year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't see nothing but yeah, 12 you are million. such a... Yo, play the bird. You a bird. <laughs> <laughs> why? Wait, why? Yo, why I'm a bird? I, when I see him, I see 12 million, girl. <laughs> Get your fucking ass out of here. Max contract, girl. Yeah. Why do you love birds? Just, uh, oh you can see God. it. Look in his eyes. Like, you can see his I know you, eye. He might have lost weight. He probably I know lost you're making weight. me probably out to be a face. bird, but I think that when people get, like, life-changing money, like, you can see it sometimes. Absolutely. Like, yeah. stress old, goes old away. Stephen A., he used to come on and kind of give a little fuss about where his hairline was and how the ladies might have responded to it. it look as, looks as confident as can be right now. Sure. <laughs> same hairline. <laughs> don't quite look the same. It don't. It looks like Steve, a little sharper. Old, 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 just came back. old yeah. Steve used to he used to throw that shit on for his tax bracket. But he would never he would never just start shitting on everyone's suit. Ryan Clark would come in there and put his suit to shame. True. Mm-hmm. Not today. Not today. 
You don't see him in nothing nah, Ryan less. Ryan Clark still be sharp though. <laughs> no, Ryan Clark is still my favorite. Yeah, my man. one of my yeah. he's one of my favorite guys. Right. But Ryan Clark looked like, hey, my wife and I put this together, and this is that shit. Stephen A. looks like, oh, it's money time. I spent even in this. When he showed up to the UFC, when he got out of ESPN and showed up to the UFC fight and walked around, so you got to catch niggas outside the element. Mm. He showed up over there like he was supposed to. <laughs> Black, white, sequ- sequence, sheen, little chain. <laughs> little chain. <laughs> and little chain costs more than your big chain. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm still from Brooklyn. You got to watch the little chain gangsters out here with that little, that little bullshit. Little chains is it. That'd be some shit. You get the right little chain. That'd be something. And stupid ass hip hop, some, for some reason, wants to continue to promote bust downs. Why? Yeah, I should be. Why? Please, somebody look, explain it, it to look me. Fly. It don't. Um, yo, we endorse the stupidest shit in the world, yo. We do. You devalue the watch. You don't know the value of none of the fucking diamonds. The jeweler you bought it from can't tell you. Hmm. Y'all just buying some they shit. Don't need, they don't have the shit ain't real. They don't even know that. Well, they don't know that because they not even testing with the right tester. Nope. They mm-hmm. testing with the tester that say, oh, that shit is fire. <laughs> There's another little tester, another that, the, tester. that them the niggas tester. bring on out. Yeah. <laughs> They get down to the bottom of things. They See, they, the- got, they got the little tester that just says, this is glass, and this is not glass. Basically, mm-hmm. that's what it do. Uh, okay. That's the tester you see them running around with. But there's another tester that tells you what that stone is. Mm. And we got to start, you know what? I'm going to just start pulling the parks and just coming on this pod and saying the shit that I need and want. And I did that in the work. Like, you came on here, uh, forgot before Black Friday, one of them shits. I was like, yo, I need a TV. Yeah. And mad people hit me to say... <laughs> Yo, let your man know. Like, I got it for you. What's up? What's up? Yo, I got him a TV for, for the cheap, for free. Just come yo, pick niggas it up. Fuck, niggas fuck with it. Yo, what you need, dog? What you need, King? Tell them niggas what you need. Nah, I would, one of these dudes heard me over here talking about a watch. The fancy Rolly, look. <laughs> you heard me talking about a watch. I you can jump, use a watch, guys. You jump right Listeners. in my... Oh, you one of them bitches. See, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. See, you one of them bitches. Yo, we'll put it in the cup. Yo, you yo, one of them we, bitches. That's about $4. Hey, hey, it's it's back. It's nah, back. you one of them. That's about $4, yo. You well, wanted them. You said that people were hitting you about the TVs nah, for get, me. Get your so own I'm, nigga. <laughs> if I want to watch, yeah. let them hit you That's too. That's what's going on with the baddies. They run around sharing tricks. That's get your own. Dollar, I, I only have a dollar on money. me, but I had Spooky. I had change in there. Everyone here knows that we we record here. They I all, have change they, in there. They all said the same response. They wasn't saying that to me. Who you saying it to? Y'all was saying that to me. Y'all know we you didn't say it. You still got extra money in there? Of yeah. course. We didn't say the word at all last week. You just said it four goals. We didn't. We did. So he had, why two, would he I had not... two dollars in there, right? I don't From know. Free previously. Go ahead. Just put I the buck in. Yeah, put that dollar in there anyway. Shh. It don't carry over. <laughs> every every every. Last every week I came game. with with some singles. I'm gonna come with some singles. Mm, you do that. I got a feeling I'm gonna go get some. Top delicious can't get all of them. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. If she do what she was doing. Yo, you crazy, son. Just me, right? <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> Say less. Hey, move right along. What were we talking about? Talking about the watch. Dude. Oh yeah. So um, I said something about a watch. Somebody jumped right in my DMs. The name, some ill name, watch master or whatever it was. <laughs> Yo, dog. If you need something, I'm the number one distributor in San Diego. Whoa, dog. I love San Diego. Don't tempt me with a good time, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> What's up? I'll jump on a plane. You gonna fly me out? <laughs> you gonna fly me out there? San Diego's a beautiful city. Look, Yo, it look, said he just piling for that watch. It yeah. said uh, men are the new. Uh, they are. It said it. Hey man, you getting flewed out? Look, they don't even call it flown. You getting flewed out? You know, every woman that has offered to fly me out, I declined it because they want some dick. Okay. <laughs> no, that was the end of the sentence. I know. That's why I don't say that. So you and. and so you, <laughs> all right, no, oh, I'm trying to. God, yo, I, 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 I so don't you, understand. You, you I'm on the outside of the inside. Yo. No, you declined it because you, you didn't want to fuck them. Is what you're saying, right? Because yeah. you knew strings come came yes, along with I'm the flight. I'm not jumping on a plane to he's be saving, treated like a piece. Himself. Be treated like a piece of meat from some strange girl. I don't know. Okay. No, I will do the flying out around here to treat them like a strange piece. That, of that's meat. what I was trying <laughs> to get you. I'm with you, King. Well, I treat them special. I know special meat. <laughs> Meat? I'm talking about Wagyu. I'm talking about humans. <laughs> you just oh, you're calling them Wagyu. <laughs> the impossible burger. <laughs> you want me to dap you calling women Wagyu? Time out. Time out. Look how you trying to flip it on me. I'm asking a question. <laughs> yo, I'm on yo, the outside of the inside. Rat joke. Bastard, what yo. happened? Listen, we said you don't want to get flown out and treated like a piece of meat. 
Yes. Because that's what comes with the said, fly out. No, but then he said, then said I'm the one that fly him out. And right. I said. You said what you, I responded to that already. I said, I treat them special. special. I care. So you treat yeah. them like a special piece of meat. And that's what I don't understand about women. Because women call us dogs, but they want sex more than us. All of them. Yeah. Every single one. And of them. they not really smooth when that's all they want from you. Like they really treat you like you they just get a little aggressive. you just dick. No, they get very aggressive. <laughs> yeah. They behave like that. They be yeah. sleep. And it could cheapen it can make you feel a little cheap as a man. Sure. Yeah. You in the kitchen. I don't treat sleep. I don't you treat women like that. from myself, washing man. your sausage, they sleep. You know, I don't I don't treat women like that. Not like that. Today. 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 Yeah, you can't today. No, actually, I didn't do it back then. Like, even even the, uh, even what y'all would have said the game was was providing the girlfriend experience. Y'all would say that, or y'all would say, "No, I'm no, a, no, I don't, I'm a I don't serial do, monogamist." No, I, don't do, I don't do that. Either. I, I don't do that. No, I, don't I don't run do around and you don't do that either. No, you no, don't. I don't do that. I know you don't, but because we kind of act like there's value in dick. That's me and yeah, you, but it it the niggas ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why when I say shit like, yo, I turned down the flight because Shorty just wanted to fuck, it sounds nuts. No, no, but no, if you I, know I, me, you know that's the case. I know that's the case with you. You know I was it's another fine one I'm running from. Running from. No, why? Because she don't respect me as a man. I'm with you. I, I ain't got no joke. No, no, no we understood. Even you, you looked at me like that one. funny we, reply. We, no, we, we can still joke about it. You tell me yeah, we still going to get our jokes off. You should fuck her. Oh, I'd have put <laughs> no, you yeah, can't but do that. And, Cause and, now she look at you like for the mm-hmm. rest of your life, you like need, that. You another nigga on the hit list. No, nah, you can't do me like that. Nigga. She, she rehired your ass. Cause dick ain't special the way that vagina. I wanted to say pussy, but that's gonna sound ugly. Mm-hmm. Dick ain't special the way pussy ain't special. Like it's the same way you great with it. Mm-hmm. It's another one great with it. The same mm-hmm. applies on mm-hmm. both sides. Mm-hmm. So if that's all you're looking for in the experience, once you get it, it's like that first high. It's it's gone now. So now if you're dealing with a woman that just wants to disregard everything about who you be because she got that. She got a whole hit list of dicks. Like her favorite dick, she was able to get them. Mm -hmm. She procured them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you got to love me, right? We sound nuts right now. Well, go ahead. (laughs) Or maybe it's just me that sounds nuts. When y'all finish, (laughs) you'd have took (laughs) in about eight minutes go by and her legs still shaking. It's different, dick. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that. It's different, dick. You, I, you, you don't I, get I, looked at as that check off the hit list, nigga. I'm going to keep it a buck. We talking about the, that person or we just in general? Anybody. See, it's well, trying to open it up. It's trying to talk about opening it up, but nah. You crazy. It might not I'm, even get that far with, with a person like that who's just looking to add you to a hit list. Yeah, I'm not even letting right. you be. Like, I just wanted to. I just need to know what. Man, when I'm in there. I hear you. You in there? All right, Macho Man. Yeah, no, I hear you. When you, when you, I you hear t- you. You talk about it. Uh, anybody, I think, and we all say this. First of all, we all men. We all got egos, and we all got all that. Mm. So on that first outing, I pack a lunch. <laughs> <And> you go, <laughs> yo, fam. You I try to lay it down. Said, we grown men to somebody that. Nice. Has, no, you talking that talk. So she's human, nigga. I'm not say, I don't give a fuck she, what she, she, she worth. She bleed like I, us. I'm not exactly. talking about none. Of, I'm not talking about worth none of that shit. I'm saying somebody that has. If you checked off everything on your hit list, right, mm-hmm. and then you come across a chick mm-hmm. that you want to you want to hit, you know it's nothing for you to get them. You ain't really interested in all her. She can't bust. She, she can't put it on you like that. Hold on. Shit. She can't. <laughs> if you don't let her Because and, you just want to be Know what you just said you know, too Some of that pussy You don't be prepared for you say, Yeah and Some of that Catch shit you off guard Ooh, yeah, so, hey, hey, yeah Some of that shit Like an uppercut I was better yo, off you, not, not knowing that this was <laughs> down there <laughs> and, You wildin' And you said Man. Yo It wasn't nothing to you It's something Cause I ain't one of the niggas That just immediately It's something be- Yeah because Yeah He been playing Yeah 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 He been running from it So it's something Now it's a chase involved Yeah But to some people uh, you gotta work now, for this meat. Uh, to you gotta some, work for this meat. <laughs> to some people, no, because they're gonna fuck me and leave me, and I already have, yep. a, I already have abandonment issues. <laughs> to some people, the chase <laughs> right, is, is, right, was what make it worth it. Right, no, I don't need all and that. Now y'all know I got it. I'm good. Hold up for a minute. This is why men don't talk to men about things. <laughs> so I'm sitting here true. being as vulnerable as I can be, transparent. <laughs> You got abandoned. Took, took mad therapist <laughs> sessions to even discover that about myself. And look at my man, man, Yo. for the last half of many years. Yo, get Alicia up here so I can. Wow. <laughs> wow. You gonna Need fuck me and leave me? <laughs> <laughs> can I read to you, gentlemen, what my what my pattern said this morning? 
Your, I'm sorry, your pattern. What the fuck is a pattern? What is that? Like, I'm horoscope? in here with cavemen roots, yo. <laughs> That's like the new horoscope. I'm, I'm in here with like niggas, niggas. You got some advanced horoscope shit? What the fuck is this? Historic is just bums. Yeah, we all don't know what a pattern is, but you. <laughs> educate Did yourself. You sew it? <laughs> <laughs> get educated. Yeah, I'm going to get a sewing machine. Uh, you ain't the brightest when we take it out of algebra. <laughs> oh, wait, I had to run <laughs> Yo, tell us about your moons and shit. Yeah. 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 You was in the moons. pattern app, you guys, mm. and this is not an this is yo, know, and this is not, not an, an ad. ad. They need to start paying us for this, this shit. Is, they, they should start paying us for things. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is not an ad. But if you bump into enough women, mm. they'll tell you to get on this pattern app mm. and give them your birthday. Actually, they know your birthday, so they put their birthday and your birthday. And this app tells you just everything about y'all too. How y'all will fear romantically, personally, friendship, the things that y'all will struggle with, uh, uh, strong points, weaknesses. It does that. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. I mean, you can dismiss it. I'm just telling you what <laughs> I'm it is. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. telling y'all what it's it is. It's the new school A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, five. Remember the girls used to do that? Yes. Notebook? Yes. It's <laughs> the new first. That's exactly. Yes. <laughs> Is that what y'all got from what I just said? Yes, fucking exactly. yes. imbeciles. Yes. You yeah. doing this yeah. shit? <laughs> hey, yo, pick a corner. Get this bullshit out of here. I got man. a Ferrari. <laughs> and I live in a mansion. She playing bash with you and shit. Get this shit out of here, man. <laughs> yo, this is what. Yo, you can't tell men anything, yo. <laughs> you cannot. Bash. That was a <laughs> yo, you cannot share anything with men. Yo, this nigga said she playing mash Man, with you. That That's funny, son. Apartment. Yeah, my bad. Condo. <laughs> Streets. <laughs> a shack. <laughs> oh, that's great audio oh. for listening. Just laughter. Oh. Just my bad. My bad. Part Come on. Yeah, yeah, take us on your part of journey. Part of me being your bad is stopping the behavior. <laughs> we good. good. You can't just laugh and. Oh, <laughs> All right, come on. Give us, give us, give us your pattern. Nah, I'm off. <laughs> Words. Look, huh? Now what? Now what? Look, <laughs> see, look what happens if yo, Joe becomes a sword sport. Yo, you really turned it into a bad B, yo. I'm telling you, yo. Ah, you getting good? I want to talk now. This is what my pattern app said to me this morning. Let's hear it. I'll share it with you guys, even though it's private information. This is it like a wish. Like if you tell people, it doesn't come true. No. Okay. No. This, I'm about to go down. This is gonna exist forever. <laughs> Here we go. The pattern says, <clears throat> it can feel like Joe's romantic partner's is love is conditional. When they give, they expect something in return. If he doesn't respond in a certain way or doesn't do what they want, they can become angry, dramatic, and emotional. Instead of just communicating honestly, they get defensive and insinuate he doesn't care. Many of their overreactions are inauthentic and just another form of manipulation. The end. Let me ask you a question. You have found a way to validate the OLS series. So when I tell you that I have these abandonment issues because women that I've really put stock in and invested in and cherished didn't seem to reciprocate how could you just laugh me out to, like, wow man wow can, can I ask you a question I see though? why we stopped talking for a little while can I ask you a question Joe <laughs> about, about your, your what, pattern what happened man do you think that generic ass bullshit only applies to you no that's why I shared it no but I'm saying like we all we all don't anything I'm talking about us oh. us us four got it I'm pretty sure I don't know your dating history mm can say we've dealt with someone that this could apply to us too. I have to answer your question. Yes. So it's just like this, this these say, generic this, statements. This, 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 what I just read said nothing about one of your partners maneuvering this way. True. This was very specific in most of, and I don't think most men share that experience. I don't. I don't think most of Parks' past relationships have treated him that way. I don't. I don't think most of yours have treated you that way. Every man don't fall into that box, but continue to dismiss this. Let's do it. No, I'm just saying this. A, a lot of these horoscope, I all of that know, stuff. You hate come it all. You no, no, it's not that I hate it. it. It's just they, they say very generic bullshit. shit that you'll pick out and choose. Yeah, this applies to me, but it, it's kind of generic. 
I understand that. Miss Cleo was pretty generic, and she was a, a a scam and a gimmick and a front and a liar. But that didn't that didn't that doesn't mean that I didn't believe in mediums. True. Mediums. Sorry. Mediums. mediums. That's true. Yeah, mediums. Like there's gonna be there's bullshit versions of this. I mean, and you might think this is bullshit. It gives a lot of information. When you go to therapy, a lot of that shit. There's a hit. General. There's a go deeper button where it'll tell you more. But anyway. <laughs> Come on, where we at? What y'all want to talk about? I just, I just signed y'all, up, fam. Oh, there you go. It's gonna change your dating life, though. See, I know y'all are laughing because y'all are stupid men, but if you just get into the world a little bit, it'll change your dating life. Oh well, y'all not trying to date no more. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I take it back. Uh, where we at? Who wants to cover the baby's new record, the Sneaky Link anthem? All right. So you want to break down the uh, Microsoft Blizzard? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cause that I sounds like fun. That yeah, me, me neither. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, Microsoft is announced that they're buying Activision Blizzard. That's fucking crazy. That's insane. Uh, for sixty-eight billion cash. Yo, explain the significance for somebody like Blizzard myself. makes some of the most popular yeah. game, and that's just one arm of it. They make World of Warcraft. They make Diablo. What else they make? Then you look. Activision makes Call of Duty. Yeah. Like. King makes Candy Crush. Like these are some really big. King, I know King. Yeah. These are some huge games that are now coming under the Microsoft umbrella. It, it's it's a leverage. Sixty eight billion dollars cash. cash, cash. Don't cash. don't forget cash. No, that, that cash. All cash. Not stock options. We we got spanky. Oh, yeah, we got spanky. Over here. <laughs> now I don't know what both this sides, means. Both sides in this deal are happy. What? Yes. Hell yes. Great, great business. Both sides extremely happy in this deal. Hell yes. Great business. Because I ain't going to be the idiot to say that $68 billion is a low ball because it's not. <laughs> nah, I'm not no, going to no, be that guy. Or. But what I will say is I am positive <laughs> that they know how fast they'll make that. No, and that's or, good business. Or we, we, we took it to a certain level. Mm. We can't really take it any farther. So Perfect. we built up market share. We're we going to sell at the top. They could take the $68 million of shit that we already got and take it to 200 300 400 I'm sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But we don't have the capability to do that. So it's a win-win for everybody. It's great business. Yeah. I, I'm just waiting to see what it great means for, for certain games, like like specifically like a Call of Duty. That I mean, they might do timed exclusive now. No, nigga. So what happens now when Call of Duty and y'all got the Oculus on and we in the virtual reality? Well, no, no, no. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that part, but... Like I can see you falling down the stairs right now. No, I don't run, run, run it through. I don't run. <laughs> when they get real, I gotta bro. tell you all about that too. I played my first real game in that shit, like real, where I'm loading a gun and cocking it back. And that's I'm still I'm waiting to hear your last so, thought that it keeps I'm, stepping on. I'm right. Um, you know, Microsoft makes their own gaming systems and platforms. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, like a game like Call of Duty is available on PlayStation. Yeah. It's on, you know, it's on all platforms. Them scooping that up, oh, I'm wondering what it does for the game. I'm itself. sure there will be some perks, which I'm not qualified enough because I don't yeah. I play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just looking 20 at 20 years. But from somebody who is I'm on sure a they will platform. have some uh, some some perks. You know, whether it's the multiplayer. it might be time exclusive because yeah, I've seen that exclusive. happen where it, it drops on this system and y'all don't get it for another year. Mm. Mm-hmm. But with a platform that this that's so big, with I'm just wondering. Big, I'm sure it won't be a year, but yeah, yeah. not a year. But you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just an idea. Yeah. Or so there'll just be different features that you can get on, only on the Xbox that you won't get on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I've got to go check my um, Microsoft shit. But uh, yo, could you get on your ground a little more so we can get some bills from the JBP? You're not getting bills from the JBP. Billions. A billion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my that, job. Wow, yeah. look at the way he puts on. Look at the way he puts on. Go out and get us some bees. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? Go get us some bees. Go handle that. Which is funny. That's the same thing I thought when we were shooting that little fucking real estate uh, piece of content on you, and you jumped on it and said, yeah, my name is, let me show you this. I'm going to show you this cool house I built. I was like, well, we'll never get to a billion that way, huh? <laughs> Nigga will not speak like he has some life. But you like the other creators. These niggas that get on, on Facebook, Instagram, give Mark Zuckerberg all their shit for free and won't do nothing for themselves. That's not me. Fuck you talking about. All right, about well, next time we do that, have a little more pizzazz in the, in the shit. 
Don't let Envy and, and Homeboy like out pizzazz us. Like us? <laughs> he keep going to that. Because it's, it's just the smoothest nigga, man. But, but that's what it is. You got to learn how, like, yo, yo this shit ain't. Hey, Aki, you been in front of a mic. To... Yo, when we first started, he used to be like, yo, it's tonality. It's inflection. What's wrong with you? <laughs> nigga, I ain't I never know even heard that of that is. fucking word Fuck before. Yo, I know mad nigga. words. Yeah, I ain't never heard of that, bro. No, he's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I'm like, yo, fam, I don't know what you're talking about. Ish, when you say in one thing, you say it like this. Chill, man. chill, 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 chill. Oh, please stop. Me, please me. stop. No, no, part part every part in the, the world takes the... my fucking... Right. Don't stop it, you're please, right. yo. Right. Stop, right. please. All right. right. <laughs> pardon me. Pardon me, Aki. Right. Let, let, let them sound flat. Let them sound flat. Round of applause. That's some fucking money, This is huge. This is huge. They going mobile game. They're... This is huge. Nah, that's... All of the great decision... All of the great decision making that... All of the thought... That went into like, that go into some of these decisions like Microsoft and NFT and all of this weird shit going on. Mm-hmm. I probably have said this before, but my sons are just gonna blow through all of that money when I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna hold it down. No, I don't think so. Um, Trey maybe, but not not Lex. I don't know if Trey would either. But see, Trey was Lex will be growing up in it. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Lex mm-hmm. will be going to certain schools and experiencing certain things that Trey wasn't privy to. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. some of the shit yeah. that'll be second nature to Lex, Trey still is going to still be learning. Mm-hmm. Lex going to come up in it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you. fucking I Steph you Curry right. as your Dell Curry's your father, nigga. The, the the drills that niggas be learning in college, you was, Steph and them learned in fifth grade. Yeah. Steph Curry learned in fifth fucking grade shit that they teach a niggas junior year of college. So. He got bred up into that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Not no disrespect to them because they still had to put the work in. But Lex will be growing up, going to school with certain shit, mm-hmm. have a different curriculum than most kids have in in, in, the, in the city, especially in public schools, et cetera. His curriculum is going to be something different. Mm. Mm. Good point. You know what I mean? Your, 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 your kids in your school. That's why issues, right? Right? My poor baby. Trey called me Saturday morning. Panicked. Like the world was about to end. Dad! 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 Yo, dog, are they chasing you or something, dog? Dad, you'll never believe I'm in a jam. I'm in a bind. Yo, who we got to see, man? What's going on? Dad, I left my car parked right here last night, and I didn't go anywhere. And someone hit it. They sideswiped my car while it was parked. Dad! I didn't even go anywhere. <laughs> you start I know you was like, wait, 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 hold up, dog. You started dying. Yo, dog, I had the biggest laugh in the world because I was the same nigga that said, son, a car is a responsibility. It's a bill. It's not important to just have a car. You have to be able to maintain a car. They cost. So insurance, easy pass, tickets, gas. Repairs. Like you got, and repairs, maintenance. Everything. Repairs. Mm-hmm. Repairs. It was blowing his mind that he was, <laughs> he had to pay for some shit Oh, what? Well, because this is the headbanger. Mom told me to call you. <laughs> Naturally. Mm. All right. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. Mm-hmm. She said, you would know what to do. I said, well, this looks like one of the things you probably don't want to run through insurance because let me teach you about what happens now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Insurance goes up. You probably just want to find somebody. Get it done yourself. Mm-hmm. Looks like it should run you about 12... Well, run me. <laughs> you know what? Just go bring it somewhere. Go bring it somewhere, baby. We're going to take care of it. And then I had that moment that every dad has. I said, oh, shit. Wait, dog. Let's count together. February. March. April. How many months is that? He said four. I said, you fucking right. You're 21. It's coming. <laughs> he keeps saying. No. I'm listening. I guess, Yo, he ma- y'all, got, y'all have kids. It makes sense when he broke it so down. So y'all are going to say this to your kid when your kid is 14, 15, 13, and they're going to laugh in your fucking face. That shit going to seem so far away when you start talking about, Yo, when you're 21, I mean, like, nigga, man, get up. Until the day comes. <laughs> you are four months. Yo, I'm trying to figure out the party I'm throwing for me. <laughs> what? We black dads. You right? 
Yo, dog, maybe I'm from another world. No, 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 no. I'm listening. I, stay there. You we right. black dads. You fucking that's right. A, that's I'm an not achievement. The party. That's an achievement today. Or, or maybe it's time at 21, does the dad take responsibility of your birthday parties now? Like, your mom ain't about to get you lit at, for 21. She don't, she don't know the baddies. <laughs> like, what do you do? Mm. Like, when I did the countdown out to him, it was really to me, too. Like, oh, shit. What are you doing for your son's 21st birthday? Mm-hmm. And what are you doing for you? I'm celebrating, dog. You should. I'm celebrating. I am. 100% sure. I am. That's dope. Round of applause to my baby. God willing that we both make it to see that day. But I'm partying like a rock star. I never thought that day was come when I was evading the fucking cops over that bum-ass child support. Whether I had it or not, I just never saw this day. Hmm. It just seemed like an eternity away. And this is when they kill black pan- black dads, especially for celebrating when a kid turns 21. Be clear, I'm. this is not the end of child support. I'm still paying. Like, they be feeling like <laughs> the dad shouldn't celebrate the end of child support. Even though I disagree with that. Oh. <laughs> I do. But whatever. We'll move on. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Uh, buy Microsoft. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could buy oh, it. God, yeah. <laughs> Buy it or Call fucking it, work harder. No, nah, buy it. You got to buy that. This is great. No, nah, it's dope. Buy it. It's dope. Buy some of the rest of that shit while it's down, too. Everything's down. Everything's mm-hmm. down. Cop. Everything's yeah. down. Cop. All right, what else is important for us to get to? You want to do the... Uh, Running our mouths over here. Mike Tyson allegedly agreeing to a... Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. We're here. Now we're here now. I want to yeah. see ink. You'll see it. I hope so. You will. And then we right after rumblings. Ink, there's gonna be some other they, red. They, ink. They've agreed in they've agreed in good faith. They took a picture together. They shook hands. Uh, and what I know about Mike Tyson, just in the brief time I've spent with him, he is all for the new wave of boxing. Mm. Like he is all for taking it out of traditional boxing hands and doing shit how the normal way of getting done. That was his reasoning for uh, taking another fight uh, and doing some Boy, of those yeah. things. He was like, "Yo." 50 years old <laughs> and maybe I fucked around all my money when I was getting high and doing all this shit but today I can't get this from boxing but I'm still Mike I can go these are not his words but this is what I got from right, right. him doing that Enter Jake, insert Jake Paul who is just a box office he's box office he's, he's clean you up. can't, you can't clean deny up. it I don't give a fuck if he win or lose he draws people he draws people he's cleaning sure. up in that, in that realm he's, he's cleaning true. up so now you take that draw he put out his little wish list of people that he wanted to fight. We didn't think that his boxing acumen would get him these fights, but the box office does. I think that this fight will happen as soon as Mike takes decides what he wants the split to be. They just have to negotiate the split. Mike is definitely a draw. Shit, they're both a draw. Not today. Mike's the draw. Oh, Shit. Oh. Today, Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson. Nah, they're I, both the Mike draw. Tyson is, Mike Tyson is still mysticism. Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson. Oh, this is a good fight. Mike Tyson is going to... People want to see Jake Paul with his big mouth mm-hmm. into the ring with a capable person that is going to knock the daylights out of this nigga. I mean, it's an exhibition. They're probably not going to knock each other out. Oh, no, no, no. It's Mike. Mike, said Mike was hitting Roy with some body shots. He was. Yeah, Roy was like, yo, fam, this is an exhibition. <laughs> this is an exhibition. Stop playing with me, yeah. yo. Yeah. You think Mike ain't going to get in the I want to watch how I even talk about this fight because they both would probably fuck me up. No question. They would. It's not so. no question. Jake would have to show me. Mike, I grew up with, so I'm cool. Well, for, for what it's worth, um, Mike is is denying all of this right now. He says he's not in. Oh, is he? Any, yeah. Oh, then I don't want to talk about. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's denying this. He's like, it's news to me. I'm not in any advanced talks with them about any fight. Oh, that's negotiating tactics. I know. He's. That's what I said for what it's worth. I see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Mike is going to take the majority of the split in this. I also am a little bit familiar with how his team does business. They don't play. Mm. They gonna get that done. And Jake is going to take that fight because, nigga, you're going to take that fight. Fam. I just need to know if the normal clauses that are in Jake Paul contracts are in this one. <laughs> What's the normal clauses? I think they're talking about. I, I assume. I think, I think they pay people to take a fall. Don't hit me. Mm. I think they pay people to take a fall. Now, not the last one. I respect that. We'll and and, and, and try, try any of that bullshit at the press conference. Try any of that. Fam. Yo, people <laughs> Did in y'all the see 80s, this nigga working out? <laughs> When he was about to fight Roy Jones in the exhibition, Mike. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We did, we did it. This nigga is still fast as lightning. Hell yeah. He's gonna. 
But it's exhibition. Young it's people, do yourself a favor and just go YouTube. Mike Tyson gets angry. Greatest hits. Yeah. <laughs> Greatest hit, literally. Yeah. You know why? Because you know the young kids don't really know. Well, that's they, what I they was ain't saying. See it, they don't care. And that's that's kind of what. But he was saying Mike Tyson's the draw. Sorry, I even cut you off, Joe. When well, you said Mike Tyson's the draw to a lot of these young YouTuber this young, generation, young people, not the world, dog. I'm not. I'm just saying there's a lot. There's a lot of them. They are in great and not numbers. Not for nothing. He's been building up his boxing career. Your, yeah. His entertainment boxing career, however you want to word it. Like it, he, this is not the first time he's done it. He's made a lot of very big. Fights happen, mm-hmm. so he's a draw too. He's a, he's a very big draw. He is. How many fights has you watched of Jake Paul? Mm-hmm. The, I don't know if it's him or his brother, but three or four. Exactly. Keep going. You watched three or four of them without there needing to be Mike Tyson next to him. I saw the one with Floyd. Okay. The Woodley one. Uh huh. Not he's a one. draw. He's a draw though. Fam, what are we doing right now? No, <laughs> what they, they tell what's going that, on? That Jake Paul is the draw versus Mike Tyson. No, 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 draw. not the he draw. We're just saying he. It's not. He's a big draw. If Mike Tyson himself. steps in the ring. People that are far removed from boxing, far removed from social media, they don't know Jake Paul or Logan Paul or any other Paul Bunyan exists. Will be watching that fight. You can't. You. This is one of them situations. It's going to be. You can't use my song without me getting ninety nine percent of publishing. This is just going to be one of those. That is I that. don't care who the draw is. It could be Jake Paul. Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson, and this, oh, no, fight, get the money. this fight will not happen if I don't get X amount up front and X amount on the back and this amount in perpetuity of all sales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, but, it, but if you're Jake Paul, 1% yeah. of you, you should you take, take that. it. Yeah. You, take you it. should take it. Yeah. Because yeah. all this is doing Biggest is Biggest fight of your life, and it sets you up for- Keep setting me up to keep going. Trump. Yeah, you take per, that. And 1% of that fight 20%, is worth more than 20% of 100% a gazillion. of a million exactly. other ones. Mm-hmm. I agree. 20% yeah, it's not, of it's a, not a gazillion. gazillion. Now, this that. is the problem with the, with the- Let me talk to my black people out there. Because after every, after every Jake Paul knockout, I see y'all bring up black elite to take this nigga out. I know we don't want to think about it. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> All right, that's, I won't say yeah, it. Then. You better not. I won't say it. You speak this blasphemy elsewhere. Get out, Park's house. I won't say it. No, <laughs> I won't say it. What's wrong with you? I won't say you it. You better not. I shook my. I went to shake Mike's hand. He shook my wrist. Mm-hmm. I didn't say nothing about it. That nigga wear a size 15. That nigga's going to put that whole 15. Unless it's a clause in the contract. Man, <laughs> you could be, get Jake and Logan. Bring them both. Bring all them niggas. Crazy as hell. Yeah. I'm not. I'm never fighting Mike Tyson. Never. Hell no. Yo, but I like I just told the young people to do. I went back to watch Mike Tyson gets angry at people that talk shit about him or whatever it was titled. Mm. And granted, I was really young, but I had uncles that was drunken in the mix, mm. so I was there. I, I knew what was going on. I was right in front of the TV when Buster Douglas won. Actually, that was the question I wanted to ask y'all when I was watching these, and I think this a lot in sports. Like when I see. Steph do some ill shit or LeBron or Mike or just Tiger, right? Mm. I want to be one to ask y'all if there were three feelings you wish you could experience, like three moments that you wish you could feel what it felt like, what would those be? In sports or? Just period. I figured opening it up to like life would be too broad. So I was keeping it in entertainment, but whatever you want. For me, right? Just off the whim. Uh, I think Victoria Monet wrote If God Was a Woman for Ariana Grande. I referenced that song a lot. Mm-hmm. For me, one of those feelings would be to be a writer, to write the song, and then have it come to life like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that first moment when you hear your song in your head that you wrote being done by a world-class performer. Like another one is Steph, the game winner, OKC. The that, just Johnson. the feeling, the, the feeling Johnson that joint. comes with mm-hmm. that. Remember the Magic Johnson little baby hook against Boston? Mm-hmm. Two, two, three seconds, and he hits the shit to win the championship. That got to be a different type of feeling. And this is when I realized I was warped a little bit because I went through two amazing feelings, and the third one for me had to be something really bad. <laughs> had to be heroin. No, I was thinking like, like, <laughs> like Mike Tyson. Like, off. no, but bad for me. So, so you could experience both. I think bad builds character. So, like Mike, when Mike Tyson lost to Buster Douglas, or more recently when that number one fighter, the girl fighter in the world, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. <sighs> that loss she took. Life was never the same. No. 
Like that feeling, the feeling that comes with when there's pressure, expectations, when you're number one in the Tiger, when he got caught cheating, back, back. Like for, for the two great experiences I wanted to feel, I did want to feel what comes with the loss. That's pretty being on top. And That's then, interesting. I don't think I ever I, heard someone say that if they had three wishes in the word, world, they would take, hey, take an L. But it, well, I, it makes sense, though, the way that you well, think about describe your, it. Think about your life minus some of the L's that you took. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, is it the same? No, mm-hmm. not at all. No. Like no, some yeah. of the shit that I laughed today when I can remember being really heartbroken and fucking calling my mom like, oh, how could she? Uh-huh. It's laughable today. Boy, am I glad it happened. Yeah. I want to no, feel, you, I want that. You learn from the, yeah. You, learn yeah. From you the can't just all be the great and the good and I'm on top of the world because then you'll have your Kanye moment of, whoa, what's going on right now? Mm-hmm. I never dealt with this. Mm-hmm. I'm good though. If the, if the genie, and I just use that as an, as an example. If the genie came out the bottle and gave me three wishes, I'm not picking one bad one. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> only you, yo. I'm not doing that. Okay. No, you could do it. It just has to be the second one. No, you're, you you can't be the idiot and make the bad one your third, yeah. and you can't well, rectify I'm, anything. I'm, 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 I just had three. Good yeah, you can't fix anything. Yeah. I just had three fire ones. Though. And right. for my last wish, I want to lose it all. No, my second wish, I want to <laughs> do that. So I'm good. Yeah, no. Nah, you got cool. that, Aki. I had enough L's in my life. I'm good. Never hear about any of them here. It's always your highs. Oh, I won the SAT. I was the valedictorian <laughs> and the, the SAT. And, and the I, I won the, he told us I L's, the man. SAT. I was the valedictorian and the salutatorian. Nah, he gave us L's. And then man. what L? He told us when sh- he was so he told us he got shorty. Sh- he told us he got shot and he lived. <laughs> That's still an L. Where? Niggas alive. <laughs> they got shot. Yo, you a uh, nigga got shot. Oh, yo, fam. But nigga's alive with every limb. Ten fingers. I ain't even got ten fingers. You what the fuck you want me to say about him? You got eleven. That big ass thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yo, fam. What are you talking fuck about? You. We all had the same L's. Heartbreak, l- loss. Mm-hmm. Fuck is you talking about, fam? I don't think we all have had the same L's, and I don't think every man. Well, is how we privileged. View them. I don't think every man is even. See, I view this differently. You're privileged enough to, take to go some through losses. some of these L's. I agree. Mm-hmm. Some of these niggas have not got to a point in life where they even know what some of the L's feel that like. That's true. Like, for some shit, you got to have some success for the L to be great enough. Indeed. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, no, nah, I'm not I'm not rolling with that. That's true. Um, What else we got? That was just off the whim that I wanted to ask y'all. Nobody answered this. Fine, we can move on. Um, What else is important? What do I have here? Tyson, Jake, Paul... Some people think that uh, Cardi B versus Tasha K is a really big deal. I don't know who Tasha K is. I was, ju- I, I was a blogger, right? My nigga. Tasha K is a blogger. <laughs> okay. Because I damn sure was about but to sound she's like a, a head. she's a very salacious blogger. She goes and gets the dirtiest of stories and exposes them. Okay. Interviews of people that famous people don't want to be interviewed. She does that type of stuff. Gotcha. Her YouTube channel is growing tremendously. It's, it's big. It's huge. She's big. Oh, is this the girl that she's in court with? Or yes. yes. Okay, she's, got it. Got it. She's got it. in court because Tasha K said a bunch of nasty things about her that apparently are not true. Okay. She said she got herpes. She's this. She's that. There is laws against that. And, well, well the thing is, there's always laws, but you need to have the money and time to go through with this, and Cardi B has both. Mm. So, sorry, you can't just say the things you want to say without you having an answer for them. I have the time and the resources. Let's go. And that's where we are. They, I haven't been following this closely because I kind of know how this is going to end. Tasha K is going to lose this. Mm-hmm. Mm. And really, no, you can't just say anything that you want about people because when they have the time and the money, this is what's going to happen. I'm here. Tasha K's husband took the stand and called her a liar. Damn. And that's how you know things are bad when your spouse is getting up there against you. Yeah. I'm here. Cardi B is on on a stand crying, and she and in court now we could get the dramatics off. Mm-hmm. Yo, I felt suicidal. Yep. I didn't want to live. I didn't want to go to work. It was affecting my mental health around my family. Whether it's true or not, it don't matter. But this is the place to get it off. Tasha K is gonna lose this, but I don't think this is gonna do nothing for the future of Trolling. YouTubers Trolling. and critics. And uh, it, troll it, 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 it might. It ain't, yo. It, it, Let it, me it, tell y'all, it's very expensive to do this. Before y'all start with these opinions, it's expensive. Everybody's not doing it. That's true. Let's right. start there. But, but, Joe, it might get some people to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave them alone because they got the money and time to fuck with me. It might not affect it all the way down the line, 
it'll scare a couple niggas about saying something about certain people. I if you know they could, if if this Tasha K chick loses this and and it basically crush her and she's done, how's it gonna crush her? though? Fam, if, if that's the thing, like, what do you, what is she really going? It to could do? be a finance. It could be a, a big enough financial yeah. penalty that she Depending can't afford. Depending on what it. the verdict I'm is, broke. it could cut her water off. I'm broke. Mm-hmm. That part, okay. I'm broke. So you could you could have a civil lawsuit all day. Yeah, but then I'm, you can't run your business. Yeah, exactly. I've also ended your business. You can't run your business. I don't want the money way, from you. I want to end your business. She, they can't. But I'm listening. Yeah, I put a business in somebody else's name. Now she's yeah. just the face of it, paid a salary. Yeah. Can't end nothing. It's gonna make you, it you get what I'm saying? Them. Like, yo. You gotta make a headache. Make it a headache. I can make a, I can make a headache. And make it or probably you, not as financially you, worth it. You lose your credibility. Nobody's starting to listen to you because they know you full of shit. Right. Cool. Which, if she's lying about this girl, she deserves it. If she's lying about Cardi B, she deserves it. Mm. Actually, some of the shit, even if you're telling the truth, shut the fuck up, man. Like, I just think well, that's nuts. And this goes to what I've been telling y'all, that a lot all, a lot of today, people are moving without fear of consequence. Mm-hmm. If you mm-hmm. knew something could happen to you over putting all this shit out, you wouldn't do that. That's true. So that's kind of what I'm saying. It could affect mm-hmm. the, nec- the, the, the next Tasha K might see all of this and say it ain't worth it. Well, I hear you, but... Might. might. That's just not so realistic. The truth of the matter is, Tasha K is new at this. So she's going to have to learn the legal loopholes and consequences and so forth and so on like so many before her have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, we used to call Q, may he rest in peace, from Worldstar every day. Yo, nigga, what the fuck is this you got up? You can't hey, take that shit down. We used to call Vlad. It was a few niggas we used to call. Fuck you, Vlad, Vladimir. Um, there's a few niggas we used to call to try, but, and they would say, yo, we know the law, nigga, go to sue us. We know what we're doing. That's true. We check this with our lawyers. We'll be advised by them, not you. You talk to your lawyers. Sure. Oh. All right. Then you call your lawyer, and if you ain't got a lawyer to know how to handle that, they're going to take it and leave it alone. Or if your money ain't long enough to even try it. Right. And, and, hey, 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 let me get into your lawyer's head for a minute. Hey, what client are you to your lawyer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where you at on that list? Yeah, that's true. Niggas don't never want to talk about that one. Your mm-hmm. lawyer might be busy with real nigga shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, you and your little internet games, wait a second, all right? Mm-hmm. Closing this fucking $500 million deal. Mm-hmm. Cardi B is, I'm sure, if not one, she up there. She up there. She up there for him. You stop what you're doing for that client. Oh, no. You, you stop. You stop. <laughs> well, that, that's what I'm saying. Though. She's on that certain, list. She's certain on that names list. names who got enough money, time, and pull. You leave him the fuck alone. This is how much money she got. The other day she tweeted, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Being famous is boring. <laughs> That's what she tweeted. I read that and had to scratch my head for a minute because I know how tough it can be to be famous, but not when you get that famous. Mm-hmm. It has to be boring because mm-hmm. now you can't go nowhere. Can't you can't go outside. You can't, it costs money for you to move. Can't go outside with a mob, without a mob of people mm-hmm. running Damn, up I to you. I can't run to the can't store real quick. Mm-hmm. I can't go to the supermarket. Like I can't do regular shit. I can't go to the gas station. And she won't make an album. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but don't get mad at me. I told y'all that the uh, album ain't coming this year. That's dope. She ain't too much money. That's dope. Shout yeah. out to her, yo. Yeah, shout out to Cardi B, man. Queen. Friend of the show. Did this show way back when we weren't recording the show. <laughs> and it was great. And it was great. No, she seems personal. Uh, I think I'm tapped out. I'm cool. Sleeper time? I was going to ask you guys, uh, why do women think pussy is an apology, but we can wait till the uh, Patreon. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a good Patreon. Because, uh, I, yeah. I was going to tell you why, too. Tell me on Patreon. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, Easy reason why. <laughs> but it's not one, though. It is. Yes, it is. Absolutely. We'll talk on Patreon. Y'all, y'all think pussy, you think pussy is no, an no, apology? No, 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 no. I'm not agreeing so, with it. I'm telling you the why. Oh, why but, they think it. Yeah. Oh, you're saying because they think it is? No. It's a we'll, reason we'll why on, they think we'll, it. We'll talk right. on Patreon. What you playing, Joe? All right. Yeah, play your All right. Listen, I do my best to protect you from our audience here. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to reveal this information. But, uh... Here comes some bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming. It's, it's definitely <laughs> coming. But you recently had a birthday. Uh, that's what you're doing, fam? Wishing you a happy birthday? We can't even wow, do that. Yo. No, I'm saying he yo, played the song. Yo, men are so toxic. So that should be the end of it? Or should my what? mom have gone to Manhattan to get you a cake if That's Corey would bring our cake out? 
Stop texting a little girly he met. <laughs> this nigga met a little girl. Philly? He's so dumb. He's so far removed from dating. We'll talk about it later. He, yo, don't, know, he don't know how to date, yo. <laughs> yo, Ish, one, Ish the old nigga. He don't want you to know it's his birthday. All right, Ish, you told my mom red velvet cake. I, I, I didn't and my think, mom I did think, what any real nigga t- mother would do. Yeah, your, mother, your mother is the real nigga. <laughs> I just said what yeah. any real nigga mother would do. No, your mother's the real nigga. You the son. Open it up, man. Yo, that's that's my, your cake yo, open, your mother's man. Open, open this up on. Okay, hold up, Erickson. We getting this, huh? He said, "Yeah, you good." All right, but we want the people to see the beautiful you cake. To pick it up and turn it. That's all. Mm, come on, man. Stop playing with my mom. Your mother's the Stop greatest. Stop playing with my mom. Yo, look at that. Your mother's the greatest. Look at that. How you turn out like that? How you turn out like that? That's fucked up. My mom went straight to Cake Man Raven. If you're from New York, you know what you know what time it is with Red Cake Man yo, Raven. Let me get a, a plastic. Yo, you, you shouldn't really even eat no shorty. red velvet cake look. that ain't from Cake Man Raven in New York. This nigga really texting this little shorty. So Ish is really 51 now. And my mom know this nigga's aging, so I mean, Ish, Ish don't know we recording the show. Word, Ish, we trying to get open the, box the open, fucking man. cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you and you take take some of this thing, man. My mom went all out for you. Niggas love you, yo. Thank, I love you. And you laughed at her son's abandonment issues. Wow, yo. <laughs> wow, yo. Wow, look at that. Come on, come on. Can we see it? Happy, what, look, it says happy, happy birthday, birthday it, yeah. ish. Your mother's the man. Come on, man. man. Say it in the mic. Hold, hold it up to hold the, camera. So the camera. Yeah. can see it, yeah. man. This cake is bigger than you. Man, t- hold the fuck. Do I have to get up and do it? <laughs> nigga. He is the coolest nigga. We, we'll never get a billion. <laughs> we'll he never said, get go a back over there. Look, he said go back. He mad, he mad he now. Said, Look, hey, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. Happy birthday, Antoine. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Ish. What do you want me to do, man? <laughs> Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until oh, the next man. time. I bid you adieu. Farewell. Hasta la vista. Riva Dirty. Adios. So long. Goodbye. It's Remember, big, life big. is a series of moments and moments pass. That might be a 14 incher. So let's make this one hey, last. <laughs> As if it's all that we've had. Also, last but certainly not least. Oh, man. The baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed minded women want you to teach them things. Grab an ibuprofen and enjoy your headache. Young people out there, this was the birthday song before 50 Cent dropped that shit. And before Drake dropped whatever that shit is. That, that Drake shit don't count. The 50 no, Cent one. Some girls. Once they played it on the Insecure finale, some women started to say, Ah, oh, see, I told you that's the best birthday song I've ever made. Shout Play the mama. birds drop, man. Shout to mama. Because that was birds. That was only birds said that. That, that was dope. Thank you, mama. <sighs> Why do you love birds? Yo, cut the oh my god! Eat my sweets. Those be the same. <laughs> Ish, you're never gonna meet your desired body weight. Just eat the shit, yo. You're not gonna make. What do you want to be? One eighty or some shit? Shut up, man. Um, they may may forget what the fuck I was about to say. And baddies, if you're listening, remember. Why would you want a window shop when you have this? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> yes, they did, yo. I can show it to you. You're lying. I'm, I can, I'm telling you. Yo, the baddie cats. You're lying, I'm fam. telling you. They're my favorite thing. They start my mornings. They why, start my mornings. Why would you want the window shop? <laughs> when you have this. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> you Walmart, sweetie. I'm over here in Bottega. <laughs> Uh, man. Oh man, I be wanting oh, to tell him about man. what's in the window. <laughs> <laughs> that shit in the window ain't chump. <laughs> that key <Kitan. laughs> Hey, oh, that, hey that, that got product placement for a reason, buddy. <laughs> Stevie in the closet picking out what he wearing tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Y'all still believe that? that nigga, nigga. Yo, bye. That nigga looking at all. Bye. All right, all right, we out of here, man. Since they still think Stevie one is blind. <laughs> Y'all think he's blind and the best musician ever? <laughs> wow. Fair. Or has he lied to us all? Did he come up with it? Did you see the drums, fam, really? Huh? The drums? Yeah, you think really? you can't see him? You know how hard it is to play some of that shit blind? Like a piano, so you can feel it, you know what I mean? Yo, stop, yo. The drums? I'm telling this nigga, I said bye three where times. Where do you see the symbol? Going. That nigga's not blind, yo. How you know where the symbol <laughs> is? Nah, you're not riding with him. How do you know where the symbol <laughs> is? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that nigga here be better than the finest Dykeman chicks. <laughs> what y'all think? He blind. He yeah. <laughs> he, he, he okayed it. No, 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 no. No, you got to get me on this side. You fucking up. Nigga, he trusts.
I hope you enjoy your cake, man. Shout out to Cake Man Raven. Shout out to Mama Button. <laughs> yeah, definitely shout out to your mom. I'm man. just She's saying that because that's what they say. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mama Button. <laughs> Ice, right, a lot of people looking for you to fight you, man. Don't run from it neither. Nah, yo, they 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 tagging me. Yo, man, we'll see y'all same time, same place this Saturday, man. Y'all hold it down. <laughs> that nigga fucking heck. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. It's cool, yo. Just live, yo. Enjoy yourself. It's your Enjoy birthday, yourself. man. Yeah, that's thing, that's you. That's all you. <laughs> My mom just asked that we bring her a slice back, but that's all you. Yeah, just save, save that her, shit look like some. Like, Don't let me get up. some milk. <laughs> let me get some milk. <laughs> I was getting ready to ask if we get some milk. Yo, I'm, I'm oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't drink milk? I'm drinking milk with some yeah, red velvet cake. <laughs> I'm going to drink milk till I'm hey, out of here. One of these days, you're going to get to a certain mon monetary point. Y'all keep thinking I'm going to change like you that. You are. You're changing already. And let me, let me, let me I don't just... know that milk is what changes with the money, though. Yeah, milk is going to be there. Ramen going to be there. It's some shit that's just going to stay the same. Listen, it's going to come an age where you too full to have sex. I'm there. What? That was like 32. <laughs> I've been there already. <laughs> you know what? What are you talking about? Kind of full. I'm, I'm full. Full. I'm tired. Hey, full and tired. <laughs> my TV show on. Hey. Any other reason I could think yeah. of? Nah, that's true. Yeah. I'm on my period. I'm on my period. My dick is cleansing itself. Are you farting all crazy while you fucking? <laughs> now what? Damn, if I had another dollar, I'd throw the B word out there just because. But I don't. <laughs> Bye. Uh, no for daddy.